CPU usage, zero frames, so it's all good. Hi, Rafi, wow. Sorry you were a bit late, that's thanks to me. That's a bit too close to your mic. Then if you keep talking, then if you keep talking like that, I'm gonna have volume. Ah, uh, wait. Push that volume all the way to minus 10. But then I can do it. What were you saying? <laughs> yes, because you can not only um, dictate voice chat volume, also outgoing chat volume you can increase. Well, yeah, I increased the outgoing chat volume all the way from 0 to 10, so... It still has... Like this, you mean, my dear good sir? This isn't soft. And so I think this will be complete this game. Should be able to hear me now. There we go. That's much better. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, okay. Sorry, sorry. I, I forgot so that. Um. No. Possibly. Yeah. I've, I've, I've noticed it's a bit of a longer one. Sorry. I, I forgot. I forgot my that I. Ten hours, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I forgot that uh, whenever I use my main computer, no, well, the main computer also for streaming, which I have to do for VR, I have to change up some stuff with uh, settings for the for the mic, and then for whatever reason, it always brings up on the previous PC that was using the software. It was it's now saying uh, you are you're using zero point zero 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 three nine six five Z slash, and there's a whole series of numbers, and it just doesn't connect, and then you're just like, no, I want you to be connected to the voice me or thing. It's like, yes. Yeah. And those numbers stop existing once you're uh, done. The numbers, what do they mean, Jason? What do they mean? No. I'm just gonna adjust the mic a little because it has Luna's camera on it. And I'm gonna grab myself also, a... Um, I'm gonna grab myself a drink of coke. I'll be back in a second. Are you up for uh, Ghost Excel next week? Like they are asking. I don't think you hear it. I don't think you heard what they asked it, so. Coca Cola. I cannot hear you if you're speaking to me. I'm singing songs about Donkey Kong and Coca Cola. I was asking, can you hear me then? I guess that's a no. Yeah, I did say it loud. I can't hear you. <laughs> I know, but I was like, "Oh." Why do you? Why do you continue to ask things if I say that I can't hear you? Let me say that I can now hear you. <laughs> well then, well oh, then, st that's the, that's not ADHD. That's just being stupid. <laughs> if I if I if I, if I say that I've gone up to go get myself a drink of coke, I can't hear you. <laughs> Question at hand. Um, you have for Ghost Exile next week. Oh yeah, I forgot to respond to that. Uh, yeah, sure. I would put in a claim though that maybe we should play, I mean, I know we're wanting to get good at Ghost Isle, but it's not, like, we, we don't really have to, we, and we don't have to always play Ghost Exile. No. No, we could play. We could bring it up with uh, I'm more a bit annoyed at Monka, like, interjecting in the conversation. It's not like, oh, he's sick. You leave him out, and suddenly it's like, hi, no, that's what's to No, it's yeah, he likes so yeah, he likes to do that. He likes to speak for people. Go there and myself, and it's like, look, if I asked, and it was like, oh, Terra might not make it, then it's different. But there himself was yeah. like, hi, guys, shall we do it? Manga, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Terra yeah, asked like, us. That's something between us to decide. And if we say yes, we're gonna do it, and it ends up Terra falls out, and that's just like that. 
Yeah, this is what I kind of mean by he likes to. He seems to like to speak for for terror, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, so, yeah. So something else about uh, playing games. I was I actually going to suggest, but I don't think it's going to fit in. Uh, did you play some more Mario Kart 8 next week? Ooh, that sounds fun. Yes, absolutely. Because um, last week eight new tracks dropped. Ah, oh, oh, new ones. Ah, oh, then we definitely need to. Um, in the lobby, like I made last time, you're also now able to customize which items do or don't appear. So you can make it. The only thing you can get is mushrooms. But the, the <laughs> that's a, that sounds quite fun. <laughs> only blue shells. Ah, uh, well, maybe we should we maybe we would hold off on that one. Yeah, but although it's one of those things, if everyone's spamming them, then no one's going to be in first place for very long ever. So kind of like if everyone, if everyone only ever gets bullet bills, well, everyone's just going to be really far ahead of each other. Well, if everybody gets bullet bills, it's mostly about who's the first person who get who gets the best luck with boxes. Yeah. Everybody thunderstorm. Everybody lightning's probably going to take a while because well, you tiny, you don't really drive all that fast. Everybody boosts also, so nobody can see where other people are. I'm also gonna check my settings. Uh, is there? Do you know, by the way, if there's a button, by the way, for um, push to talk, or is it just we uh, talk? That's um, right, right mouse. Right mouse button. Okay, then that's fine. If you go to keyboard and mouse. No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering if I had to set it as something better than button. like a keyboard oh. button. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't have a keyboard. Button. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, I mean, I just, I just mean a bike, it was set as, like, Q or 1 or whatever button. Uh, it's like, if I, if I had to reset it as something better. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, but you do have, like, um, Q and E to switch between inventory, apparently. Okay, fair enough. This is right next to W. <laughs> okay. Things like... Um, D to use emotes, um... Oh no, my stream is still dropping. What are you doing? And art to use a torch, which uh, I'm sorry, you begin if. Yeah, yeah, sure, let's go. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do about my Wi Fi being a dick. <laughs> well, I've sent you that video about what you could do to better your Wi Fi. Is it put a, a wet cloth or something on the router? <laughs> no, no, it was that video about, like, um, unplug it. Wait five seconds. Uh, I'm afraid I'm afraid that's not going to be any use. Basically, we, we have put, we have a, gone down in uh, our Wi-Fi because we do intend to eventually leave them, So we're, and the prices yeah. are just going up. But the upload speed should still be the same, <laughs> so it shouldn't be that. I was, I was talking about the video about where the guy fills that 55 gallons from, like, gas versus router and dirt. Make it explode and then tells <laughs> as media provided the fuck off. Yes, I, r I remember that one. Okay, um, do we get to choose what what role we are? Or? Um, it seems that for the, just like in the third room, it appears that for the first few. Um, ooh, 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 were... ooh, ooh, I, I, I remember, I remember. Um, okay, okay. I would if I if we're in this order because I've got the microphone. I do. I remember that. I think Stan had the microphone that you have right now, and he was the one in charge of looking at the puzzle things and, you know, directing Cave. Then they made a wrong choice. If I was with Dara, I would have switched if he had that position. Which one Which one would you prefer? I, I don't know if it will be the, the case of one directing the other for the whole time, or... It doesn't really matter for me. I think we're both decent enough at explaining puzzles which don't evolve Spanish to each other. Uh, I'll be the guinea pig. I'll be I'll be the one that's in the puzzles. You direct me. Oh, you actually have something like that. Oh yeah, wait, the change button is just great out for me because... Probably because I'm not host. Probably. Wait, I thought... Oh, did you join me? Yeah, I joined you. I thought you invited me. Okay, I, I saw... Um, uh, I saw something about an invite or something when I was when I was getting so I thought I had been invited to a thing and it just all brought me to yours. Okay, never mind. Two towers bathed in Two towers, you say? Broken. Oh no. 
welcome <laughs> away home for those long dead dead <laughs> escape or oh, face defeat let's see well one of us has died thus far in each of these why break that tradition <laughs> not sure if you can even hear me It's a little dusty. What the fuck? I'm gonna, get, gonna put away my fit rest. Be more. Wait. Wait, are we? Hello, hello. Do you hear me? Over. Yes, I hear you. Oh, okay. Also, let's be fair, he isn't really that good at storytelling, the Jester. I think I've pieced it together. We... are we prisoners? Are, are we the guys who escaped from the last other, the other games, and now we both have the radios from each of those times? Um, I was thinking the same thing. We are either the persons that were left behind, or the ones that escaped. We seem to be in a jail, or, or I seem to be in a jail. Uh, same here, I just awoken in a jail cell when they... Yeah. Okay, well, one of the gates open, so I might as well go through it. I have found what looks like the Elgato symbol. <laughs> With a star. Um, I've come to a, a door with three symbols, um, a three symbol code I need to unlock. Okay, well, if uh, the symbol I have is any use to you, I also have a half of a sentencing of our parts. And um, it, it the symbol that I have kind of looks like the Elgato symbol. It's more like uh, the Harry Potter thing, a circle, a triangle with a star right in the center of it. Um, I've also... A half a sentence which said, We are the sum. We are the sum of our parts. Quick maths. Yeah, yes, of course. Maths. Well, I mean, isn't that what sums are? Aha. Uh -huh. Also, uh, back to the parents. Um, you should have three like symbols, which I need to fill in in this door that's blocking me from going further. So far, I don't have really anything else. I've just got the jail cells that are closed. Oh, wait, no, there's a further one up here. Uh, I don't know how to get to that one though. There appear to be two jail cells, but they're like at the top of like uh, wooden structures with no clear way to get up to the wooden structures. Let me see a few things. Some pipes with valves, but I can't interact with the, the with the valves, so I'm assuming that's a no-go on that. But beyond that, it's just it's just the one jail cell door that I can open with a clear thing of uh, steps up to that door. And then after that it's just the symbol and the half a sentence and that's it, and a locked door. No other thing I can find. Can you just grab the symbol once again? Because I've been back to watch all the doors I could. Nothing really. So. It's like the Deathly Hallows from Harry Potter. A circle with a uh, triangle. At, with the point of the. With, with the top. Well, one of the points of the triangle going off directly to the right, with the other two more on the, le on the left side, and uh, with a star in the middle of it. Yeah, I completed it. When you started describing like a star with a triangle point to the side and a circle, I was like, ah, those three symbols are what I need. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I didn't exactly describe it all that different. I, I said before it was a circle with a triangle and a star. <laughs> Nothing changed in really how it looked. So in this game, we can jump. We can jump? 
Oh boy! Uh, I think I might already have found what might be a secret, but I'm not sure about that. Secrets, you say? It's just an infinite loop. Because I have to jump over a bridge, which leads down to water, which leads up some steps, which leads back up towards the bridge. Also, I like that uh, in this game, well, I both like and do not like that they've, uh, they could have just easily worked it out by now in their fourth iteration of the game, how to have it that you can talk on the radio and it doesn't cut the other person off. But I think they're just like, you know what? That's a, me that's a mechanic they just have to get over themselves. I mean, we've done it before. We can do it again. Yeah, true. But I, at the same time, like, I respect that. Because it's clear that they're doing it deliberately now. And it's not just a thing that they, you know, would have looped over. I guess you are still stuck. No, I have a, I have a crank here that lowers down a weight that opens up the door, but uh, it... it raises uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry it raises up too quick for me to be able to go through the door because it's like a good like 20 foot away i had the same thing and it seems you have to sprint also i just saw something behind that some half man half spider spider man no man spider okay cool i, I just sprinted through <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the tip. <laughs> um, you know that symbol you had before? I had a uh, now I have a same symbol like that. Same. I have a symbol on a wall here too. It's like a it's like a sort of um. I don't really know the name of the shape. It's like a sort of squished square shape where the bottom the bottom uh, line is uh, longer than the top line, and it's it's a sort of. I don't know really what the shape is. It's like a rectangle that's been squished a little bit. Where the top line is short and the bottom line is longer. And it has a semicircle in the center with a lightning bolt going through it. You mean a trapezoid? And I have a circle with a pentagon inside of it. With inside of the pentagon a guy. Sorry, I'm just getting... I sort of semi-listened there. I was like, a oh, what is it? A trapezoid. Also, I have a sentence, half a sentence that says, "Will open the path." To be made whole again. I have a sentence saying that. Also, can you describe the uh, your symbol again? A circle with a pentagon. You know the five-sided um, square and a kite inside of it. So a diamond. But then, um, the bottom is longer than the top. Okay, okay, uh, again, I, I, found, uh, I found a missing piece that I was needing to, in order for it to turn. A uh, circle? Pentagon, a kite, so a elongated uh, um, diamond, so to speak, with the bottom being longer than the top. Well, if I say diamond, I mean more of a, um, not a square. Yeah. I got it. Square. I got it. I have a torch now. Bask around this warm, glowing, glowing wall. Oh god, I just saw a creepy uh, mannequin running. Yeah, I met him before, don't look at him in the eyes. Fucking freaky. Also, I'm currently lighting a bunch of um, candles, wouldn't be the right. Um, fire pits. Fire places. I guess br braziers. That's the word I'm Also, I found my next um, symbol. I found uh, the bog pieces I was looking for. 
I um, I found uh, my symbol is a hexagon, the six-sided one, with a triangle pointed towards the left side with a moon, like the classic um, moon shape, C shape, but then um, laying down. So to speak. The crescent moon. Yeah, but then laying down with its um, fat side on the ground. Okay. Hexagon with a, a crescent moon. Nope. Do you have any symbols to describe towards me or? Oh, I did. I found it. I was just uh, getting yours before I went off and described mine to you. Fair enough. I have a hexagon with a square in the center, and then it's like a three lines pointing up, left, and right. You know, like half, like the lower body of a stick man. Together with a square. Yep. Yeah, it went because. Well, um it was already half correct to myself. Also, look to watch the left. Hello there. I, also, by the way, it's basically once you get two of them, it's just going through the third one until it's right. Yeah, but the third one was already right for me. Also, press D to mount. Press D? Huh? What? The D of Thomas. Your accent made it sound like D. Also keep it pressed to bring up the emote wheel. Uh paper. <laughs> Jump away, uh, rock, paper, scissors again. Sure. I got rock. Damn it, you win. <laughs> Yay. I think we are almost together. Should, should I pull the lever? I think we both need to pull the lever. I'm not entirely sure, Kronk. Should I pull the lever? Pull the lever! Kronk. Pull the lever, Kronk. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> A way out of here. <laughs> I'm glad he picked it up eventually while I was putting down. Hey, Adair. I just walked up a flight of stairs. As did I, brother. As did I. And so oh. we let you zoom, so be mindful of that. Doesn't for me. Do you have a different mouse button tree? Ah, it's pressed down, scroll wheel. Right, I thought you just meant scrolling. Made you zoom in and out. No. Also, I need a green tea. I assume on the other side, there you have a need for a blue key. Uh, I have a green key and I need a, a green key. I think I might be bringing it to you. Oh, we have a puzzle. I've got a series of different symbols. It's kind of like that one where we had to do the um, the walking platform with the things and they were dropping. It's like that one. Uh, I'm stuck until I get the cream key, so... You can bring it back now. Did you like my present? I did. It was a very nice blue key. It let me in this room. Ooh. This room looks cool. I have... Ooh. I have a red key, but it's locked behind a thing. I think this is what we're unlocking. I need a red key. Also, I see the symbols you were describing just now um, with the puzzle we were doing before. I think I'm seeing the right one. 
All right. Well, I have a um, symbol. I have a thing here of all the things on it that kind of look like a. What would you call a trident if it was uh, missing? <laughs> missing the third part of making a trident. Oh, wait, you 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 seem to be able to move it. Do I need to direct you then? Um, are you are you just doing it or? I'm doing that. Uh, are you able to move the queen at all, or? Uh, I have I have a crown here. I think I can move it. Where do you want me to move it? Uh, move it down, all the way down towards uh, for now. You can. I moved it. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, all the way down, right? Can it move one towards the left? It can. Give me a second. So, so let me guess. We have to get the king and queen to where they need to be, and the potion one where it needs to be. Body, body, body. Yes, and the bishop head or. Yeah, bishop head would that be. Um, you have need to be where currently the um caster head is. Was the terror staying penis in my chat? <laughs> I I think um we should move uh yeah move move him to the left and then yeah, and then we can move the um wait no no um move the the jester one out of the way so we can get the bishop one up where it is right now and then I can move I I'll move the queen where the jester is right now yeah. And then, move, and then move the bishop up next to the potion. You are the bishop. I only can move the king's crown or queen's, whatever you want to say. The potion and the jester. The other two are you. We have the power! Hey man! My red key is still locked. You think I could jump to that? You can try. Aw, they don't let you. There's an invisible wall. Boo! <laughs> How's it going, by the way, Tara? Um, do you perhaps have somewhere where you need to place four arrows in the correct position? Like a top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right one? Ah, I do. I thought this was just something to do with the other, the other puzzle. I have um, four spaces, and they have like uh, just knobs on them with like a different, like you know, think think of like a cooker knob, where it's uh, top and then top right, uh, bottom bottom right bottom. Think of it like a a cooker knob, but then just it's in the kind of orientation of a of a typical clock, you know. So. All right. So uh, the top left one needs to be pointing straight upwards. So twelve o'clock. Cool. Top right needs to be pointing at like, that's like between 7 and 8. Let's go there. Between 7 and 8. Uh... The bottom left one is pointing towards the top right one. So that should then be like between 1 and 2. Uh, south east, south west. Let's go like that. Uh, sorry, and, and this is for the bottom left or bottom right, sir? Um, if we do it like that, top left is north. Uh, top right is southwest, bottom left is northeast, and bottom right is southeast. Thank you, brother. 
I have to keep. So there was no indicator there that it had actually unlocked the thing. So I was like, did it work? And then I, I, I clicked it to open it. Yep, it unlocked it. It just didn't make a noise. I can see your brother up here. Hello. Hello there. Also, see where I'm pointing? There's a green door there. You need a green key for that, so we need to switch keys at some point. Okay. I found some tapestry on the wall, which I know this is going to be an annoying puzzle. I can guess. Nice. I need another red key, but it's a red triangle key, whereas the last one was a red circle. Uh, I need a red... Four star key, so like a star with four points, shuriken to be precise. And the other red key I need is. No, wait, this one's open. Here I come, brother. <gasps> You're coming, brother! Hug me! Mwah. Mm Mwah. Mwah. I'm not even sure if we are brothers. <laughs> I think we might have had a, it's different. I think we might have had different brothers at one point, but we, uh, well, they sadly sacrificed themselves in a noble death to save their brother. Twice, in fact. We can go together. <gasps> Yay! Follow me, I'll show you what I mean about the uh, tapestry. So that's one ugly fucking bastard. Jesus Christ. Um, but this is what I mean. This is going to be an annoying puzzle, I can already tell. Yeah, that, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Just We just have to do it. Top left is fa has, has five points to it. Top right has four. Um, you gonna stay here with me or are you gonna come? Here's one of the doors and you can lock. Look. That's what I'm just talking about. I only have blue key, brother. There you are. I do have a slot machine. Big money, big money, big money, big money. I'm not really sure what's going on with it. Maybe we have to do the age old thing, brother. Cheat. <laughs> I would find it funny if it's just determination, just keep doing it, and eventually it will get it. Well, it seems to be on a timer. Um, That's all there is at my side. No, wait, there seems to be a door here. No, wait, that isn't a door. Is that, uh, no, it is a door. It just can't be opened from this side. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Damn, doesn't look like a winner. I'm going to check your side out. Go ahead. Can't go back that way. I found something I can push. What did? You... What did you find? I'm gonna need your help for that. Come with me. Ah no! Coming in, coming quick, brother! Quick, careful! Hey, how's it going?
Yeah, I would really not trust these kind of things. These things look like they've been here for hundreds of years. We can push this. Ah, I see. Big strong. Hey, key. Also, I already have two and five of those, so... With it, I can go back to unlock more things. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't that key for tier? Yeah, I got a key one. The uh, ninja star, the red one. Yeah, and there might red triangle one is here. No, no, no. Um, start with four points, not triangle. Ah, uh, I, I, uh, sorry. I thought it was a Y angle. Oh well. Um, send the thing back. Actually, I'll bring it back over. I forget I have a button for it. Hello, brother. Look at me. We. <laughs> uh, we're not here to have fun, brother. We're here to escape. We're prisoners, remember? Just because we are and aren't supposed to have fun doesn't mean we can't have fun, my dear brother. May I join you in the fun, brother? Well, certainly. <laughs> No, see, we're not, we're not going to... Fall door, mate. We. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, yeah, the experience is quite enjoyable, yes. I think we need to push this, so we raise up this cage here, so we can get what's inside it. Also, that's one biggest fall door, let's be fair. Holy shit. What they got in there, King Kong? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Your mama. <laughs> I like to take me out of it for that. This might also be for something else, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably. I see, I just let go of old. Nothing appears to have moved at all. <laughs> the problem brother what is it what is the problem we're missing a gear because without this gear things can't turn and if it can't turn it can't do anything oh my god I don't touch the tools though I have found the gear ah these things You stay here, brother. I'll be back. <laughs> no worries. I'll stay here. That gambling thing we were stuck on. Oh, uh, you mean it's not just gambling? It's not just luck? And then they'll take all our money away from us? It's actually a thing in this? Boo! Um, the first symbol. What is that? Uh, the first symbol, I guess you could call it the first symbol. Uh, it's showing us the clam shell, you know, like the seashell type one. Not the one with a little stick in the end of it, just a regular old seashell. We have to be faster on this, I think. Seashell. Longer seashell, in fact. Um, almond. Peanut. Oh shit, sorry, sorry, I didn't even realize I could really interact with them. Uh, we'll, we'll start, we'll, we'll, we'll start again. Brother, look on the other side. Move a bit. Okay, okay. Uh, I have like a circle with a sort of like sparkle on it. A uh, long seashell. Uh, 
I have a classic seashell, like the big, a, a big extended one, like a big square, sort of triangle -y shape. Uh, peanut. Uh, peanut, peanut, peanut. Long seashell again. The pearl. Pearl? No, I think I might have pressed the wrong one. Sorry. Uh, okay, okay, I have a pearl now. Uh, peanut. So, could you perhaps try to see if you can open the door towards your... It appears we only have one, like, one of these things is raised, and uh, that's it. Ah, it's a mechanism. It's like a key. We're unlock. We're removing the parts that are keeping the the key locked in place. Okay, okay. So we got four of them. Okay, we gotta get four of them at the. Okay, this is like a coffee bean, or I guess what you're calling a peanut. Ah, uh, pearl. Pearl. That's one of them. Uh, it's like a. It is just like a seashell, but a different one, bigger one. Um. Long seashell, but stick. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. Sorry, I'm guessing not. Uh, coffee bean. Pearl. It's the big seashell, like a really huge one with the wee things at the bottom, like uh, left and right. Um, ball of shit. Uh... Ah, I got it wrong. Sorry, I I, I see which one you said. Uh, pearl. Uh, long seashell without stick. I got the big seashell, the one that I keep describing again. Uh, the gun shell, the round one, the round one, where hermit crabs and such live in. That's two. I got long seashell. Uh, pile of shit. Pile of shit. I got the magic con shell. Uh, long seashell, let's stick. I think we got it. Ta da! I got a few things. I got a key, a gear, and the thing, and the fourth thing. Uh, also, could you see if you can open this door? Uh... Well, hello there! Shortcut. <laughs> Yay. Also, you should not be able to open this door also. Oh, yeah, right in the hole. Unlock it. Hi. <laughs> I like that it cut you off there. Hi. <laughs> I have two levers, Kronk. With red and uh, blue on them. As well as a thing... Oh, it's the it's the things. Um, we, this is what we need the strange things for. It's this thing. The ones they, they're actually numbered, so we can just put them in the order that they're numbered. I just have to, you know. I had uh well I think it was in the wrong place. I think I think I took it because it wasn't in free. So don't you say I I just had free. You put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> They're fucking numbered. I know, but free wasn't on free. <laughs> That's why I took it out of the one it was in. Uh, did you get any other keys like the triangle one or? I did not. I only have the yellow one, the yellow one that we just used there, and I've got the blue one you gave me, and a gear. Where did you say you needed a gear? Follow me. Uh -huh. We need one more. Nice. 
Nothing I can do with that. Nope, me neither. Um, follow me. Let hmm? me up here. Where are you going? Up the right stairs instead of left. I already came up here. Doesn't appear to be really anything here, just a locked door. Maybe someone we can. And just like the other one from the other. Oh, oh, wait, 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 brother. Projector. It's telling us what we have to do. We need to charge it, it seems. What does instruction one say we have to do? Instruction one is the prisoner escape protocol. That's five you're now on. Oh, right. It's not the top one. But I see. It's like a literal projector. Right. We need purples. Fuck. Do you <laughs> force it placed in? Huh? What? Do we have all five of them placed in? Yeah, well, these, yeah, we have... Maybe we gotta do it at the same time? Just hold it and keep holding it. No, it eventually goes off. If you keep your mouse pressed, it just keeps holding it. You have the red lever pulled in all the way. I think I don't think you're thinking of it. I think my one seems to be, take longer than yours does, so I think I need to go first, and you need to do yours a little after. Go. Well, we got the timing right, but it didn't seem to do anything. Maybe, maybe have the red one there got some some relation to the timing as well? Like, I don't know. There's also. There's also a big thing here that we can move. I don't know what it does. It's like a part of it. It looks like kind of a, a, a train wheel kind of design, like an old uh, steam train design. I like it. Uh, Sam, you remember the four spots we could push in? Like the four buttons, three buttons we had. Um, that's up there. Ah. I'll go look which one you need to press. I'll be back in a bit. Wait, wait, wait. Are you are we thinking of are, are we thinking of the same thing? There was a thing with four buttons and then there was a thing with four directions that was up on a big thing of cloth. I thought it was the same thing, but the uh, four buttons on that piece of cloth are in northeast, south, and west, and the ones you have are northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. So that's not going to work. Yeah, plus those buttons. There's only four buttons. It's, it's not like the the thing on the cloth was like um, it had like a uh, one set of three like three buttons, and then four, and then five, and six. Maybe it has some correlation. Maybe there's more sets of buttons somewhere. I don't know, but I don't. Otherwise, I don't think it's in, involved in it. Damn, this one's gonna be complicated. There's a thing to push in over there. There's four buttons. There's a big red lever here, a big red switch here, and two switches here. What do we do? Okay, we need to do a thing with a key, and then. An electrical power thing. And then it's going to show us number three. The electrical power... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. 
Go back. Go back. What does it does it tell us then, or do we have to push the buttons right now? Watch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. But that's only when the power's on. So first, let's start with one and watch it all the way through. Okay. Because we skipped through them the first time. We need a key. We need to twist it, turn it, and let it be powered. Twist it. Bop it. Shoot it. Cock it. No. I turned the key to keys on there. And then we get... <laughs> Wait, where was the key? Oh, there, I see. Okay, okay, um, let me see. And I'll push them one, two, three, so top right. Ah, so I don't have to do it as many times as the thing actually said to do it, okay. Do I need to push them in order, or or do I need to leave it to activate and you do something? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll press the one it said to press first. Uh, wait for a bit until electricity is higher charged, I think. If we take a look, you can see electricity starts low. But once it's at the top, you need to start pressing buttons. So I need to leave it till it's at the top to click one, two, three. Okay, I'll give that a try. If it doesn't work, we can try something else. You tell me when it's pretty much at the top, and I'll just look at them to, and get ready. I don't know. I, I, I saw your thing. I saw your thing light up. I might have pressed it a bit too soon. Uh, it seems you went back for some because it didn't go out. So okay, don't activate the radio unless you're ready to say. Because I got confused there and thought you were just you know. Go. Mm, maybe you have to do it earlier. I I don't know. Let's try again. Might still have been a bit too soon, on my end. Maybe. But I'd say a little earlier, so I have time to press all three. Nah. Maybe there's, an, maybe there's another step we have to do. Maybe we have to be sure it stays powered on, and then we press it. Yeah. Unless... Do I... Do... No, that seems to be for step four. Hmm. But which one... What would we need in order to get it to stay... But Maybe... Is this lever have anything to do with it? No, that's for step four also. What about the levers? Uh, they are for step. Uh. Uh, see this one on, and on the cattle. A red one here and red one on the cattle there are for step three. And the other one's for step four. Then what are we missing for this step other than that we have to press free? Maybe I do need to press. Maybe I do need to press it one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I just have to do it whilst it's charging. But isn't it so that as soon as you press one, it stops charging? I can give it a shot anyway. It turned off. It went fine because it, I heard it ding, but... That's what... 
No. Maybe I have to not be so hasty. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna watch step one. Oh, I, forgot, I, forgot, I can't jump. I've just done it now. I think it should be fine. I think we might need to do the next step now. Which is you press the left. Wait, 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 hold, hold the, wait, what? You, can, you can't just throw that at me. I think I just did it, and then you don't explain what. What well, I think, just like when you turn the key, so. Next step. Uh, press the left left where you did before. What? You said the lever. Do what? Pull this. Oh, you. <laughs> no. You said pull the red lever. I said, There's too many red levers, mate. <laughs> okay, okay, we can do it then. I'm so a little annoyed that you just <laughs> did the thing I was wanting, that I was trying to do there. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what? You, you said this one. Yes, that one. Go. You oh, need both that one and this one at the same time for the purple smoke. No, oh, it did purple smoke. Also, you still were not very clear there. When you walk over to this one, I'm pretty- I thought you were meaning we did the same thing we did before. We did- we did not pull this lever and that one before. We pulled the blue one and the red one before. Mate, go to watch all those tapes while I go take Hello there! Shut up. Shut up. You can't say things like before, and then not do what we did before. Uh, I just said you need to press the red lever. So I can press the red lever on the, um... Furnace, like I've said before, but you probably weren't listening to it. What I was listening to, however, was Red Lever, like before. You know what you did before? This one. Yes, you did that Red Lever before, so I thought that would be fucking clear enough. Not really, you have a way of just assuming I'll get what you mean. Well, yeah, because I assume that people tell me, I do the Red Lever you did before? Oh, I have to do that one again. They're gonna do something else. That's Sorry, a clear Joe. assumption to make. Well, not really, considering you didn't do your the red lever that you were doing before. You didn't do that one before. This is not the fucking red lever, mate. No, I'm talking about this one. You didn't do this before. Don't say like you did before, and then I'm waiting for you to do what we did before. Which was the blue lever. Pull your lever. No, oh, for the... It, it, it moved me! Ah, stop it! I'm annoyed. Because I was... Uh, st look at this, look at this. This, this, uh, this is just the game's doing. Because I was standing here, it didn't let me pull the lever. And it was like, no, you have to go for an animation of us moving you into place first. That's nice, but... Oh, I feel that about you right now. Don't you do that. You're terrible at explaining things and think that you're great at explaining things. Don't you think you get to jump off? I think it's justified to jump off at this point for me. Not really. You don't get to say like you did before and then not do what you did before. And then you get to feel like you get to jump off. Okay, what one now? 
This? Yes, I didn't look that far ahead because I didn't expect us to get there yet. Let me see step four again. I might be missing something. Oh no, wait, it was the big le le uh, red lever. Blue one's only in step five. I didn't respond to it, but hello there. <laughs> right, Sally Joe has his own way of explaining things and thinks that everyone else will understand exactly what he's meaning. Ready to give it a go? Sure. You haven't said what the next step is for me, but I don't know if there is one for me. Keep pushing the wheel. Pull this mo- Mo- it- stop. Seems the balloon lever needs to be pulled at the moment, I pull the cord, so... Ah, okay, so... Tell me when you're pulling the cord and I'll, uh... Pull the blue. The blue one needs to be pulled all the way down when I pull the cord, so the blue one should be pulled first, I think. Or both at the same time, I'm not sure either. There's no harm doing it a little early. Alright, I'm pulling the blue one. Oh. I, I pulled it early. Maybe your one goes. How, how quickly does this one get pulled? Because there is quite a long drag in the blue one. Yeah, your yeah your one's pretty much instant. I will tell you when I will, I'm roughly done, and then you pull yours. Unless maybe either that or if that fails, I'll leave it till the blue lights lit up, and then you immediately pull yours. I'm um, just telling me when the blue lights lit up. I think that's the right point. All right. Either way, we'll figure out. Like, the blue one had a shorter drag than the red one does for sure, but it still takes a bit of time. I bet doesn't that take everything in this puzzle. Alright, I'll tell you when the blue lights lit. No. Ow. Oh. We did it in town there, right? I pulled when you said now, so. Hmm. Maybe. Well, let's 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 see for a moment if, when I pull the red lever and the light goes on, will it stay on for a moment? Maybe, maybe it still counted it as a little before. I don't know. Uh, I realize what's going on. We're going from step three to step five. Ah, what's uh, what's step four? <laughs> Uh, you press this wheel against it, and I pull the big red lever at the back of it. Right, okay, 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 that's fine. I was wondering, because I was pretty sure I did this one before, but then it turned off, and then something wasn't right. And it seemed like it was right at that point, but I don't know. Oopsie. It's all good. Alright, I don't know if I have to do this at the exact same time as you do it, because that one has a bit of drag on it as well. Just hold it against it, then it will be fine. Alright, it's staying there, so, uh, blue lever. Blue, blue. Alright, it's going, get ready. I'll tell you when. 
Mm, no. I already pulled it, I just have to throw the key at the end. I hate the way you say some things. <laughs> so I'm going to refresh my chat just in case it's not showing me messages. <laughs> Ooh, that's harsh. Because that would have been painful. <laughs> oh, I d oh, I don't I don't know if it was just a flash or but I saw a face. I don't know if I've just for a moment your character model walked through me and I saw a face. <laughs> Uh, give us a minute, by the way. I don't know if my uh, Twitch chat has been a little weird. I'm not really getting any messages. I'm not getting any notifications. I'm just getting... No, I'm not even getting, like, if anyone sends, like, uh, a sound alerts thing. I'm not I'm not getting a pop-up for it. I don't know if my chat's kind of fucked itself. I found an arm. You found an arm? Sorry, Darl. Let's not worry about that. The <laughs> I have found a cauldron. Oh, it's a, I can place a key in it. I found where we needed that one. Ah. Oh, it's the triangle. It's a red triangle uh, key. Is my... Uh... I'm going towards the other side. You what, sir? You're going towards the other side? Yes, I can tell you where, which positions you need uh, to have. Ah, it's uh, it's one with uh, six on it. Like, uh, if it is the one on the bed that has uh, all the different directions, it's the one with six points on it. Also, yeah. Uh, for six points, you need to have the one at 12 o'clock. Uh, is this the one on the bed for definite? That one that was with the, the giant cloth? Well, that has six points, this is six points, and it's four squares, and that's also seemed to be four eventually, so I guess so. Uh, Twelve o'clock didn't work, so it, if there is the other one, go see what it says. Ah, uh, I wouldn't know where the other one would be. You showed me it. It was a giant, like, tapestry, a giant thing of cloth that was, like, next to a bed, with, the, with a picture of the ugly guy on it. Yeah. It had the whole, it had um, the four different ones. If you would look across, to what's your side, that's here. I, I, I want to jump off. I want to fucking jump. There. Uh huh. Well, 12 o'clock doesn't work, so. Oh, 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 we can move the things. It's like one of those puzzles where you have to move the pieces. Okay, okay. So six... Never mind. What's the one... Uh, what does the one that has three points have? What? Where is it? Is it uh, north? Is it uh, sort of uh, south, southeast-ish? Or, or is it uh, southwest? Southwest. Okay, I was just missing. I thought it was just the one we had to find. What's the five point one? Uh, southwest, southeast, uh, north, uh, uh, whatever. West. <laughs> I didn't hear you there. Southeast. Well, it would be more south, e south, southeast, but. And what about the one with four points? East. Would you like it over? Uh, yeah, sure. Actually, I don't know. Wait, wait wasn't it actually this side that it needed? It? Yeah, it was like up there. It's in the room over here that it was needed. I don't know if your mic's just not working. That was lit up red there, but you didn't say anything. 
From here, we need to go with the little minecart towards the other side. Well, minecart, gondola. The minecart. Well, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just come back. Wait, can I come back? I, I don't seem to have that option. Shit, do you need to, do you need to bring the thing back to me? Fine, I'll just, I'll just send you over the fucking key. Fine, fine. I wanted to come with you, but... Well, you can, will come with me, but I just have to come collect you. <laughs> Can you do me a favor, by the way? Can you come send a message in my Twitch chat? And it's just so I can know for definite whether or not the, my chat is actually fucked up or not. Okay, good. So it is working. It's just when I say it, when I question whether or not it was fucked or not, <laughs> nobody cared to send anything. Uh, same for me. Tara just said penis and that's it. And you should have had a sound notification of Quack. I did, but it's just also very weird that I'm just not getting any messages for that anymore. Hello there. Because like usually I, because oh, like usually I got a pop up notification saying that uh, you got this alert or this person redeemed this alert. Not been getting that. Also, we still missed this one gear to get this thing up. Yeah, I assume we'll get that in a bit. This explains why Cave and Stan's one took so long. They cut out all of this. Well, they in the in the video that they uh, made the, into forty minutes, they cut out all this. Well, yeah, it took them over ten hours, I think. So they should have cut a lot in that. Yeah, cut out the ones that drag on. Just give the interesting ones. Hooray! What was the purposes of, like, why did I have to send you the key on that thing if you could just come back and get me? <laughs> you pick you pick that thing up like it weighs nothing. I've got the gear, don't worry. <laughs> when Captain America froze his giant shield. Oh. All those who chose to oppose his giant shield will have their head blasted in. Just so you know, I can switch off this. I can't see anything with it. <laughs> Of my screen. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Come along, brother, down here. Th this way. I follow the sound of my over here. <laughs> over here, down here, brother. <laughs> Careful not to fall now, brother. The, the gear spot is just here. There you go, brother. There you go. Now just put it in. Good. I had to fucking walk sideways to be able to see something. Now it works. <laughs> Alright, sweet. I think a new area there loaded in because the FPS just dropped to like 20. Brother! Do I have to send you down? I guess. I'm stuck. You should have waited for me, brother. We should have gone in together. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. It closed the door immediately as soon as I stepped in, so... I don't know what I have to do to make you go down. Is a button here? Uh... Next to the door, there's a button, I think? Ah, yeah, this button. Okay. I was checking to see if the gear could be turned by hand. Goodbye, brother. 
very well. This is a very, very complex contraption. <laughs> You tell me. Ah, well, I was saying it was a very... <laughs> this is a very complex contraption, is what I was saying. I'm gonna say you tell me. I wasn't at... Oh. Infiltrate the vault. Very good, brother. Also, I wasn't I wasn't asking. I was, I was just saying it is a very complex contraption. Uh, it seems I'm stuck. Yeah, you gotta live out your life in a vault. Oh, I'm being raised. The platform that we turned is uh, lifting. You raise me up. You raise me up where we belong. Now, now I need to crack a second vault to be able to get the treasure. To quote another game that I uh, played where a thing raised really slowly. It's like, holy shit, can this thing go any slower? I appear to have to do things here now. Great. I am steel door with a compass in it and symbols in three rings outside of it. I was I was incorrect. I did not have to continue to do things in the area that we just were. It raised me up to a set of of stairs that I led me out to a lovely room. This place is nice. It's got like a globe and a lovely chair and a big ass puzzle. Oh, well, great. I'm not sure which of us in the, is in the position of Stan at the moment because I don't think I've seen the entire video of Kaif and Sam play this. I think I saw part of the stream. Plus, I don't remember that much of it. There was puzzle. I think you're doing what Stan was doing. I am where Kaif was. Um, I oh. see. Yeah, oh. like I said, a compass in the middle. Oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, the smallest ring, two symbols, the ring outside of that, three symbols, and the biggest ring, four symbols. I think we have to orientate them in some sort of way. Ah, yes. Also, I've just realized, actually, I might not have been. Because either one of us, either one of them could have gone into the thing and gone where you were. I'd forgotten that fact. Okay, yeah, I've got a big um, spinning wheel. It's got three, it's got a north, east, south, west in the center of it. With north is facing upwards, and I have um, uh, essentially three circles, one uh, three inner circle, uh, like one of them being an inner circle, one of them being an outer circle, and one of them being the in the middle circle. The outer circle has uh, hexagons. Is it hexagons that have five points? The middle circle has squares on it, and the inner circle has circles. Uh, that's the same for me. And then uh, what you're looking for is not hexa, but penta, because hexa is six pentas. That's beside the point. Okay, but yeah, yeah, Pentagon. You're right. And, and I've got a projector hat that has um, uh, f some buttons, three buttons. All three of them right now are on one, and I can push uh, them to be either up or down. And they are all labeled. They're labeled Circle Square and uh, Pentagon. I would say start pushing the circle one, see what happens. Well, at least nothing happens on my end, I can say that for sure. Oh, no. No, no, I've not actually done anything. I was just, um, it seems the circle one has, I can, I can move it to one, two, or three. The square one, I can move it to one, two, three, or four. And the uh, pentagon one, I can move it to one, two, three, four, or five. Um, this is my guess, at least. I think what I see, you have to recreate. So you have to place the symbols in the correct orientation towards... The, from the compass out, so the circle ones would be in northwest and southeast, so to speak, and the rest has to be placed also correctly. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Think of it like the circle has, uh, the, sorry, the, the circles, inner circles, outer circles. Each of them, they have squares, pentagons, and circles all the way around it. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're like continuously, like perfectly spaced between each other. They're all going all the way around the circle. There's no way of having it that in the circle there is, that it isn't 
they're all I, I I'm having difficulty describing it, but it's like um no matter where I end up turning it, there's gonna be one that will be pointing in the same direction that another one is. I don't think that matters. I just saying that for me, the innermost circle has one circle in northwest and one circle in southeast. I think you have to recreate that somehow. That Oh I just I just um I just pushed a thing and then it, it lit up all the shapes to have symbols on them. Like they all have like symbols. But I don't know if they change uh, whenever I change one of the numbers. Let me let me check. Doesn't seem like anything changed when I switched a different number. Damn, this one's gonna be difficult. <laughs> gonna look around the room, see if there's anything else around. Oh, there's a guillotine. <laughs> We are in French, and while you do that, I'm gonna take a quick piss because I, it literally for me the door I came through, the cage I was in, and then the door I'm describing. I have nothing else. So while you figure things out maybe for a bit, I'm gonna take a quick piss. Yeah, didn't you say you had numbers? Oh, so I may I may do the same. No, I don't have numbers. Where did the numbers come from? You have numbers with one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. I just thought I remembered you saying you had some series of numbers on something. No, I have two circles, three squares, four pentagons. That's all the numbers I have. Yeah, dude, that makes up numbers. I'm gonna take a piss. I'll be back in a bit. So yeah, I say you had something to do with numbers. I say I have squares and circles and pentagons with a series of numbers. And then he doesn't put it together that the number of squares and circles that he has correlates with that. But okay. I'm going to take a quick bath and break myself. I'll be back in a moment. Let us get back in. Shall we? Wait. Just need to be sure side was there or not. You back? Yeah, I was waiting for you. 
I've been thinking about and I think I might need to describe the symbols in certain positions. You can figure out which corresponds to that. No, I, I figured out what you were missing. So uh, I know how I said that there were um, numbers that you said. Uh, you did. You said that there were three squares and how many circles and how many pentagons? Two circles, three squares for pentagons. Yep, those were numbers you said, and they correlate with something I have. Okay, so those light up, those, those should light up these in the right series. There's like a whole load of symbols that when I push this thing that it lights up. I only get uh, to see it for like a moment. Okay, so two circles, three squares, four pentagons. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what these symbols mean. There's, there's too many symbols, as I think. There's, there's... Dozens of them, they're all different. Well, it's not a dozen, it's more like nine. Well, no, for you it should maybe be a dozen, seeing as you have so many. But um, it should be nine symbols in total we're looking for, so... I only have nine places they can be. Well... Do you have anything that correlates with north, south, east or west? And do I need to maybe find what circle is what on, on a board for you? Because I have a whole series of, like, there's, um... I think it basically, um... Ah, that's a better way of describing it. Okay. So from pouring north, there's a circle square and a pentagon. Pointing uh, northeast, there's another circle square and pentagon. Pointing east, there's an, for another set of circle square and a pentagon, and so on in that order. It's for there's a circle square and a pentagon for each direction of uh, north, south, east, west, northeast, uh, southeast, northwest, southeast, body, body, body. Um, for me, except for one direction, all of them have just one symbol or um, shape in mind. So north has a pentagon. Um, northeast has a square, east has a pentagon, yes, southeast has a circle, south has a square, southwest has a pentagon, west has a square, and then northwest is the only one with two, which is a circle and a pentagon. Alright, I'll start describing uh, the symbols that are on those, but uh, start from the first one and just say them one at a time. What was on the pentagon at north? What's on the pentagon north? Um, that seems to be like... That's a, um, I would describe it as a... Hey, KGB. Trident? No. Um, it isn't easy, it isn't easy to describe. Uh, I would say, let's picture a wine glass, but without its foot, with like sort of cherry in inside of the glass. Yeah, I've got, okay, so it's uh, a trident with sort of a little, uh, sort of strange, yeah, like a cherry in the center of it. Okay, what's the next symbol? Yeah, that's the symbol I've got on that. So it was a, so you, that was what was on North. Just do them in order. I, I don't know if we need to be sure of something in the right order, or unlock something. But like I've got, I've got things that light up. Like um, um, that was North. That's the only thing I have in North. Then North East, I have um a circle with like three lines on one line uh, on top of it, one line to the left, and one line, line towards the right side of it. Okay, so north east is a circle with that. Is there any way of changing the symbol? Because what I've got, if, if, if... Square, not... It's a square, not circle. Square. And you said circle. Okay, so it's sort of like a hashtag uh, on my end. Literally quite, quite like a hashtag on uh, north east. No, I wouldn't say that. I would say it's um, a circle with like three sides of the squares next to it, which aren't touching each other. Well, then I don't know who has to change what. I have the, like, is there any option for you changing what the symbol is on yours? I don't know if you need to match mine or if I need to change these somehow to match yours. I can't even reach those symbols, so I don't think that's an option for me to change them. Or at least I haven't found any way how to... Oh, I did it. <laughs> okay, so so I changed I changed the squares to be one different, and apparently that did a thing. And I jumped back inside of my cage. 
passing test door and go towards the new world. <laughs> Aye, okay, GB, yes. Just play Dota with your homies. <laughs> uh, Alright, we have the same door, so set on set compass in the middle, three rings with circles in the innermost ring, the middle ring, squares, and the outer ring, pentagons. But this time we also have like three orange light inside of the circles and a big green light in the middle of the compass. Cool. I want to see if anything changed in this room. If like I can go anywhere. No, I'm still just in this room. So I don't. So I'm assuming then because the last one I had to change what square was to match what your one was in uh, northeast. I might have to do the same again. So um. I also now have like a <laughs> fine. I'll drink water. Um, drink. Steering wheel from like a ship, which I can use to turn the um, symbols around. So I can switch, rotate them, so different symbols will be showing. Okay, so maybe uh, maybe you need to adjust yours for mine, I don't know. Well, I've already ch I've already changed it from what you said the last room was, where it was uh, <laughs> two, three, and four. <laughs> this time it's two circles, three squares, and four pentagons again. Uh, do you want to have the positions of the orange lights? Maybe that might be of some help to you. Wait a minute, I've, I've just also realized I can't actually interact with this anymore. Oh, I can change uh, something to do with the light. Uh, what? Oh, I've got a different thing now. I've got this. I didn't I didn't even realize this was here. You realize I don't know what you're talking about when you say, I got this. I... Anyways. I have a new thing now. It's, um... I've got uh, at north it's a square, at uh, east it's a pentagon, at south it's a sun, basically, and at uh, west it's just a circle, but it doesn't look like a sun with the, all the points. I see a thing turning, a big ass chain. That might be my doing. Also, hello, that KGB. <laughs> Yes, hello, KGB. Yeah, he was—he's in my chat. <laughs> he's also in my chat, so that's why I say hello. <laughs> Shut up, KGB. He's calling me a hippie. Um, it's—I would consider it a win if, um, at the end of this, Sam and I aren't willing to fight each other over who's right or who's wrong in certain aspects of this game. I would consider that a win. Yeah, we've, we've not ever really done that. We've just ever gotten annoyed at how we've done things. I don't think this game is really a right or a wrong type game. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, instead of the middle light now being green, it's one of the other lights that now green. That's because I just changed it. It was pointing at uh, the sun before and uh, at, at uh, south, and I changed it to pointing north at the square. Okay, so um, what might that mean? Anything you can figure out on that? Um, instead of now being um, inside of the center of the compass, the uh, green light now sprung to what should be like in the middle circle, so the not the outermost, not the innermost, but the middle one, being in the direction of east, south, east. Well, there's nothing else I can change around here. I, I've, I've just lit up the projector on my end and I can interact with it. All I can interact with is these is is the arrow pointing towards the north square, the west circle, or the pentagon on the uh, east body map. Ah, I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, when you had it in the middle, everything uh, turned when you had it. And when you had it in the middle circle, only the middle circle changed when you um, when I rotated. It. Middle circle changing instead of like the symbols that change the position. Oh. Can see change. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna point them at each direction, and then you tell me what it, it does, and then try and see if it can do something for you. I'm right now. It's pointing at uh, the north square. I'm gonna point it uh, south, and uh, no, no, I'm gonna point it east at the um, pentagon. That lights up the outermost circle. Okay, I'm gonna point it uh, south now. It should light up the other ones that you uh, had before. It has lit up the middle, which means I changed the symbols. <laughs> also, hi, KGB. 
Okay, and I'll point it west now. Sorry, Gage, but I can't interact. I can't interact with you too much. I need to pay attention. I'm sorry. The circles I see in the innermost circle are at northwest and southeast, but now I've changed it to be west and east, so to speak. Okay. I have no idea what that will mean for me. Nothing else I can change here beyond this. Uh, I'll go have a look around. Beyond that, there is the board, and it does. It, ha it permanently has the the uh, symbols lit up now. I can always see them. Do I maybe need to tell you what symbol has to be on these, on certain squares? We could try doing that. Also, hello, Tan Tan. I'm doing fine. How are you doing? He wasn't yet, so. Tan Tan? How did you move? Oh, he's here now. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Tan Tan. Nice. Uh, also, let's start with North. Describe one of these symbols you see there. Uh, top one for the. Uh, uh, for all of them. Do you want me to point it north as well? I can point it at the north square. Maybe, maybe I need to tell you that, like, you know how mine is. Um, but that wouldn't work. Like, it has, a, it has a circle square and a pentagon, but then there is the sun one for me. The one that looks like much more like a sun. It's got all the little extra points that would make it a sun. I don't have that on my board. I don't have anything that would be a sun. But do you want me to point it north? Do you want me to point it at a square and describe a square? Or just say what's on some of the squares? I don't know. Um, let's go with describing what's on the pentagram, the square, and the circle in the north row of your thing. Okay, I'll start with the circle. I guess you could describe it as a uh, old-fashioned iron uh, on the circle, if you can see that kind of symbol. It's like it looks like a big, a big uh, set, uh, sort of semicircle that's a little odd, oddly shaped, with like a handle coming off the top of it. Yes, I see that. That that's currently for me in south. So that would mean you would need to point it south, I think, and then I would need to turn everything around. Pointed it south. <laughs> so hi, a tan tan. At the same time, we don't know which things we need where. It could just be. Um, I'm doing good, tan tan. Sorry if I, I can't pay too much if attention. In the right spots, everything's correct, but I wouldn't be knowing that for certain. Hmm. Oh, do you want me to still describe what was in the square and the uh, pentagon on what's the north one for me? Uh, sure. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on the square, I guess, simple as I can describe it, it's a weird little alien. It looks like it's kind of like a shield shape with um, arms at the top uh, left and right of the, like, and then legs at the bottom and it's got like a, a circle in the body. I think I know which one you are describing. Sorry, by the uh, way, guys. It has a bit of way of the uh, Among Us character, so to speak. <laughs> With like two little ears, or yeah, Sora. Yeah, just a little cartoony alien kind of drawing. <laughs> Shut up, KGB. Hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think we might be speaking about different things. Well, I mean, uh, oh, there are two. There are a couple that look similar in that regard. Uh, one of them it looks like it's a little alien character, but it has feet at the bottom and it's cut open at the bottom. The other one looks like it's a semicircle or a shield kind of shape, but it's like a the crescent moon going upwards. The curve goes upwards. The one that I'm looking looks like a traditional kind of shield, you know, like straight at top at the and then it curves at the curves to a point at the bottom. And then there's little um, feet pointing off at the bottom, and it has little arms at the top of the shield. And it's like it's it, there's no there's no break in between or anything. It doesn't have doesn't have little ears pointing upwards. It's got ears sort of curved downwards, like a like a sort of cat folding its ears in on itself. The one I was describing was the one with the opening at the bottom, which is for me in the south row, like the square position. That is in the south row, yes. I was describing the one in the north. So, um, 
what do I what might I have to do if, if I'm describing one in the north for me do I need to change it to be north or uh yeah sure change it to north that should be the middle square so that, that means I can rotate it uh yeah I see the exact same thing you were describing um I think the we shield. might need to find the right spots for the pentagons, the squares, and the circles. Seeing as the top one should probably be like the uh, trident with the cherry inside of it. Yeah, the trident is that one. That was the version we described. Um, I would say try. Sorry to hear that you're sick, by the way, Tanda. Anything Tandem. indicating where which position should be shown. Anything or. Not really, it's just, they're all lit up for me, it's like a white light, there's no extra lights or nothing, it's just everything. I guess now that we have like the um, four directions, they are strictly north, east, south, west, west, that does cut out some of the symbols maybe? I don't really know. Um, well at least we now have the board in the same orientation, so it oh. looks to me that the only thing we need to figure out now oh. is lining things up maybe the lights in some way also yes just i hope you're okay to help you there over okay he's doing that so <laughs> i can hear you also i i just went off and something opened up that i didn't notice uh there was a picture that lifted up there was a book inside it but then when i picked up the book that creepy mannequin came out from the ether of behind the thing and stole it from me and ran away little bitch boy also i well, technically, it's, it could also be the king which had taken over your soul in the last game. Ah, there's another thing. I found a thing. In in the safe, there was also a thing that I could point at the light, that, that I could attach the projector, and it now tells me which ones are more important. Uh, there's ones that are a bit more lit up. They're more focused. Like, they're they're brighter. And the the two that we got are brighter. The, the iron and the uh, shield alien. That would mean those are in the right positions. Um, what's it looking for the pentagon? Uh, it is not lit up, so it might not be important. Um, can you change it to west? That was to rotate the pentagon. Then I just gonna... No, no. Uh, that's the animals. Uh, I mean south in that case. <laughs> Was it East End that was to you? I'm confused, I don't remember. This is the one I need, thank you. <laughs> That's East for me. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just gonna keep rotating this to see until. Okay, I do have a. Uh, ones are lit up on like uh, Northeast, uh, East. There isn't one lit up on uh, uh, Southeast. Oh, it's changed now. I didn't even notice. North is in a different direction. I didn't even pay attention to that. North is now where West is for me. <laughs> okay. Oopsie. Okay, so, um... The ones that we got, the ones that are lit up, that should have been lit up, were what... They are now... They are pointing to East for me. Like, um... The Iron and the Alien Shield, they are... They are the ones that are on east for my end. All right. Um, can you give me the south one, so I can put all the pictures around, so we have them correctly again in the right position, pointing towards you. Okay. Um, I'll go up closer. I can. I can get up closer now. Um, I guess it's it's a it's an odd symbol. Uh. It's like, it looks like it sort of turns sideways. It'll be better to describing it like 90 degrees to the right. Kind of look at that angle. It looks like a little stick person on a boat with one arm. And there's like a little tiny point poking up from where their head is. I was actually moment and give me this out so I can turn all the pictures a, uh, 40, at 90 degrees. So they're in the same orientation as they should be on yours. So, north is north. What's north on your side is north on mine. So you meant south as in turn. 
Okay, I thought you meant describe the south one, not give you the south. Like, give in my in my uh, sense can mean two things now, because <laughs> I could give you the symbol that's on the south, or I could turn it into being the south one, the sun symbol. Sorry, it doesn't matter, but... Okay, uh, it's, it's a bit confusing, because north is now positioned for west for me, so I, uh, orientating things is a little odd, but turned sideways, you know, literally. Um, are there any special circle? Any, any circle? Are there any things that light up to show, hey, these positions need to be selected, or...? Well, I described the one of the thing that's positioned on south for me, but I don't know if it's like the correct orientation on this. Like maybe the ones that are, like literally the what the direct the symbols that are pointing south for me were the little one with the person with the one arm, like a stick figure, and they don't have any legs, but they're just sitting on a boat with like one arm on their left arm, then a little thing from their face. But I don't know now if like uh, south for you is what is west for me. I don't. It's confusing. I turned it the wrong way around. Um, the one you were describing on south, I found for north. You found for north? Huh. You want me to change it to be north on my one? Like, you know, the square is at north? Um, can you give me the... Um, north position for changing the thing on my end. Switch it to the square on north. Um, which other squares are lit up? Uh, uh there's a couple. There's uh, the one that I described with the little, uh, the little um shield alien. He's on. He's a, sorry. Did you say the ones on north or squares? Sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll describe with the square. There's a little shield alien on the square. There's a little um, ninety degree to the right turn stick man on a boat with the one arm, and there is another alien, but he looks like he's coming up from like a hole in the ground, going boo. <laughs> ah, I'm here. Um, I think this might be in the right position. But that. Uh, I think I have the squares in the right positions. Uh, describe the symbols you're seeing in these circles for me and switch it toward the west. Now, here's, here's the big money question. I was assuming that the square, the circle, the pentagon, the sun were northeast, southwest, but what if I actually need to point them to be. Uh, like, like you know how my board has turned 90 degrees to the left. North is now where uh, west would be, like, from l just looking at it. Does that now mean that the circle on my board that I was thinking was north, east, south, west, the circle is actually north, the square would be east, and the sun would be west? I don't know. Um, that could be, because if you press the new north in this case uh that would mean i get access towards these circles so yes that's the case it seems okay so this is north thomas hi thomas <laughs> uh can you describe which symbols of these circles are lit up uh that original one that we said which i thought was on north but is now actually on east which was the um old-fashioned iron looking one with the circle with the handle on it and also one that's just a strange looking weird symbol. I don't know, it's like one line on the left and then it sort of looks like uh I'm Gonna give you an odd description for it. It looks like a line on the left and it's creating like an L shape. Like it's sort of an L shape with a little lip at the bottom of the the thing of the and it's got I don't know, a pudding. <laughs> it's like a little a little semicircle on the end of it with like what looks like a little um steam kind of like smoke mark at the top of it like it's smoking at the top of it. uh yeah i have to done so i would more describe it as like an f that's pregnant has a fat belly with like smell coming off its belly but yours also works i would say 
Yeah, you do. You. I don't see that F1 at all. <laughs> but I guess everyone sees different. Um. Okay. Last one. Pentagons. Pentagons. And say one of the symbols. Describe them. Okay. Um. There's a fair few. There's four of the um pentagons lit up. One of them literally is just an, a stick man. Like, think of him like a stick man turned 90 degrees to the uh, left, and he's just an X with a, a head. Um, I would be able to do more if I could also change the position of my pentagons. How do I get it that you can change them? Uh, move that one towards the south. Okay, we have to figure that. Uh, I figured I was missing the fact that. Like, okay, so that one's north because this is turn. Okay, so one of them's a stick man. One of them that's lit up is a literally just looks like a TV. Like think of an, a box with a little lion in the in the square, and it's got like TV antennas on it. Uh, is that TV in the northeast position? Yes, it is. Is the stick man in the south position? The stick man is uh, directly north. Also, hi. Sorry that I won't be interacting all that. Much. I can only apologize for that fact. Got it. Hooray! By the way, sorry, Thomas Tan Tan KGB. Sorry that we're not interacting all that much with you guys. I can only apologize for that. I'm saying this to Tan uh, to Saijo as well. Because, uh, well, uh, this game requires a lot of focus. Ah, it appears that I am where Stan was. I enter a set of doors, which... Uh, I need to carry my torch for the next one, because it came dark. And I came in some sort of gladiator arena. And Thomas, you're right, you need big brand for this game, but... We have a common, we have a combined IQ of like six, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have like one brain cell between us. Hello, look up. Nice. Hello there, look up. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, I have a board, I remember this one. I have a board that will show up like... Uh, Five symbols, I need to remember them in order. I'm going up a staircase. Cool. Ooh. Which brings me here. My FPS took a little bit of a dip there. Another prisoner enters the arena. Survive the crime. I'm probably going to need to remember the symbols. Okay. Uh, guillotine, Iron Maiden, uh, You're gonna Noose. Have also, I have that volume ball in my Shush, 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 I need to remember the symbols. Guillotine, Iron Maiden, Noose, Trident, and Dagger. Guillotine, Iron Maiden, Noose, Trident, Dagger. Guillotine, Iron Maiden, Noose, Trident, Dagger. This music totally doesn't fit with this. Okay, uh, we need to go to the... Need to go to the, uh, the, gu the guillotine. You're on the guillotine. Okay. Oh, I think I, I think I remember. Next is the Iron Maiden. Make your way there. Maybe go to the left and up. I think this, I think your spaces will disappear once you step on them. So we need to make our way around and not destroy the blocks be 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 below you. Like... I am not to be rude, but I can see from here which one's the Iron Maiden, so you have to guide me. As in, north, go south, go east, go left, go right. It's this many steps. Alright, if I must. Uh, you can see the other ones though, right? There's a trident, a noose, and a dagger. Okay, the Iron Maiden's in the top left corner, but uh, go two to your left. And now go all the way up. You'll be able to see it once you get it. It's the, it's the, next, it's the first one that you'll see there. Okay, and since the floor is being destroyed, 
I would say you need to go to the noose next, but uh, I'm trying to think of a good pattern to get you there. Uh, go down, go from where you're facing out, go down one. And then to your right, go uh, up five. Yep. Then uh, keep going, keep going. I'll tell, I'll tell you if you're going the wrong way. And then, okay, from where? Okay. Uh, no, no, turn to yep, f face that way. Um. Uh. Yeah, go down one, forward one, and then go to your right, free. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go to your left free. My apologies. Uh, yep. And then just, you see the noose? Just go to it. And then, uh, you see the trident? Try to see the, could go the easiest way to that one. You, you should be able to figure that one out. And then to the dagger. It said the dagger's just by the door. You should be fine by now. I, for a moment, thought we had to, like, touch every panel, so I was like, why then? Um, I have a door forwards into another room with difficulty, and I have a staircase leading downwards, which is probably for when I fall down. Ah. And I'm still holding that heavy bell. So. I remember this one. I need to remember what one. And they will, uh, we're in a room where it's like, it's just, think of um, Fall Guys, where we, you need to stand on the right one and then all the other ones would disappear beyond, except for the right one. Okay, so this is the one where I have to remember. Trident, hammer, axe, helmet, and guillotine. Trident, hammer, axe, helmet, guillotine. Trident, hammer, axe, uh, helmet, guillotine. Okay, okay. Trident, hammer, axe, helmet, guillotine. When do you want to write that down? <laughs> <laughs> Trident hammer. I'm ready help. to go. I can't do anything. I'm being blocked by a fence. I'm assuming it might be. T I have to. Ah, I have to pull a lever. Okay, okay. So I have as much time to memorize it as I wish to have. When do you want to write that down? <laughs> Take your time. I might cheat a little. I might ask Thomas if you can write it down, please. <laughs> no, 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 okay, I'll do it honestly, I'll do it. Uh, no, I won't even look, he's written it down, I won't even look. <laughs> trident, hammer, axe, helmet, guillotine. Trident, hammer, axe, trident, hammer, axe, helmet, guillotine. Okay, trident, uh, go to the trident. Trident, hammer, axe, helmet, guillotine. Okay, I remember. So now we wait out this song, I suppose, or...? Yep. Not even gonna, not even gonna look at my chat. Trident, hammer, axe, helmet, guillotine. Alright, hammer. I had expe actually expected more difficulty from this. Yeah, it's just a memory game. With quite a fuck ton of time, even though I'm fucking slowest. You're carrying big heavy ball. Don't I always do that, brother? <laughs> I've got them. Big swinging ball right, by, right, right below you. As it seems the timer's slowly speeding up, so... Going faster and faster each round. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Thomas. I remember anyway. Helmet and then guillotine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> oh, so it's a good thing this is easy because I wouldn't be able to stand the music for very long. It's annoying. Yeah. It's gone. To the ether. <laughs> and guillotine he said. Yep. Guillotine, guillotine. Jones, I say both. The item of the left range, left or Russian. <laughs> also, by the way, have you noticed? Have you found any things uh, in the game uh, that are from the other games? Like, I found a painting that was of, like, the. Remember when we were doing the stained glass window one in the other game? Found one of the kings from that. 
And then that axe that was swinging there for the clock, it was one of the axes that we had to put in one of the other puzzles. When we were doing that puzzle that was like finding the, the right things and placing stuff and clicking those uh, crystals in order, uh, I, I found one of them. It seems you have to doubt me again, of but yeah, I see them. But some things I'm like, I was like, yeah, those are for that. But other things, it's like, yup, dear, up, dear. Also, I've been in two rooms which nothing almost in them except for a door. So there's not to see there. Mm. Well, see the thing, I I don't know. Um, uh, there's X's on the things. Uh, I'll tell you them in order. Uh, you start in the shit. You sh you start in the helmet. I would assume. Uh, go ahead, I guess. There's a helmet, a noose, uh, um, it's a, I forget what those ones are called, they're like, sickle, I guess you'd call it, and, uh, I think that's what it's called, Iron Maiden and, uh, guillotine. Okay, um, let's go to the noose then. I don't know where the easiest path for getting to that is without... Hmm. Um, go to your right. Wait, 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 stop, 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 don't, 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 sorry, sorry, I need, I need to think of this. The problem is, other ones look like they don't have easy enough ways to get around stuff. I think... Okay, 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 uh, we start in the helmet there, we go to the noose, so... Yes. Okay, okay, go to your left, go to, to your left. And then go up, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Y yeah, go up. Till you get past the next, um, fence there. And then you go to your right, and then you should be able to see the noose from there. Go to the noose. And then you gotta go to the sickle. It should be directly in front of you by the next one. And then you have to go to the Iron Maiden, so that should be, uh, just go do an L to it, you should be able to see it, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, it should be, uh, go straight up from there, the, the guillotine is just by the last place where you ended it. Quite easy. As long as Sam is to figure out which way I need to go. Yeah, some of them would have brought you to like dead ends where you couldn't, or it might have interfered with other ones. So I was like, wait, wait, no, that path wouldn't work. All right, so I have five more symbols, but then there's three symbols here. Like there's three spaces here that don't actually have anything showing yet. Hmm. Odd. Well, I'll um. Do we have to start? Is it just another memory one with maybe an extra steps? All right, all right. Guillotine trident. It's so this one's weird. It's like a sort of mace, like a spiked mace, I guess. And then hammer, Iron Maiden. Guillotine trident, spiked mace, hammer, Iron Maiden. Guillotine trident, spiked mace, hammer, Iron Maiden. Guillotine trident, spiked mace, hammer, Iron Maiden. Okay, uh, go to the. Uh, I'll start it, and then you go to the guillotine. Guillotine trident. Oh, oh. My bad. <laughs> okay. I guess I can't walk over some of them. <laughs> no, only only after I pulled the lever did the free symbols that were hidden get shown. At least you didn't die. I guess those symbols are ones I can't walk upon because the moment I stepped on the armor, it went down. Ah, I see. And also, the symbols didn't disappear, so I don't think I have to remember anything. Okay, okay, stop, stop. Stop! You didn't let me say which ones you couldn't stand on! I thought it would be the same as last time. Well, this is the 50-50 shot with the first one, so... Okay, next thing, let me tell you which ones you can't stand on. Now the order of stuff has changed of what you have to go to first. Just give me a minute. Okay, you cannot stand on a shield, a, sh a, a shield, a sickle, or a suit of armor, like the main body of it. But you have to go to the guillotine. Nope, no, that was a shield. 
I realized at the moment I stepped on it. I was like, no sickle, no suit of armor. I've got this. I go yeah. here, and that's a shield. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. All three of them there were in a line. Uh, yeah, it would have just been go up and around. I think this is where the time is a bit more crucial. Okay, okay. First one is now a trident. Okay. And you cannot stand on a hammer, an axe, or a noose. Trident. Oh, you have to go all the way fucking around. Oh, quickly, quickly, brother. Quickly. I may have started off a bit too soon, but I apologize for that. You still got time. You got time. Next, next. All right, all right, all right. Uh, next one's an Iron Maiden. You see it? It's all, it's, it's all, I sat at the end. The, the only one in your way is the noose. Ah, okay, okay. I thought it was... I real yeah, I realize now it's just, it, there would have been way too fast. Okay, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, and you cannot stand on a wait wait wait. You cannot stand on a spike uh spike club, a mace, or a noose. So uh Yeah, so you have to go around. So you cannot stand on the mace, you've got to go on the sickle, on the dagger, and on the helmet over there. I knew that they would change, that's why I was like, tell me when they change. That's going to happen. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I get, I get it now, I get it now. Okay. Alright, next one's a... Next one is a suit of armor and you can't stand on the axe, shield, or mace. So the suit of armor at the... Yeah. So yeah. No standy on the axie and you gotta get to the shieldy. Yeah. All good. Suit of armor, not shield. Shield is stone to get me down. Did I say to? I, well, the shield was one you couldn't stand on. No, you say and the hammer and then. Uh, d d it doesn't matter. Uh, trident, and you can't. St you got to go to the trident. You can't stand on the hammer, the axe, or the noose. Trident twice. Yeah, trident twice. Also, I get why they give you that fucking ball, because otherwise you can jump across it, and this <laughs> would be way too fucking easy with sprinting. Eh, it's an Egyptian curved sword, or it's a sickle, or... You see that in some, uh, Mayan cultures as well, and, uh... Alright, the last one is a helmet, and you cannot stand on the mace, dagger, or noose. Alright, that one's pretty easy. You also see it in some, uh... I don't think this is a demon god. Also, let's be fair, quite... Nice construction work, and seeing as this is a castle that's a few hundred years old, but still has such intri intricate, uh, traps. Let's be fair. Impossible. Yeah, they're quite nicely laid out, quite fun. Also, I think we need to flee, because the dark is <laughs> oh, I just saw the... I entered a red hallway. A red... Oh, hi. <laughs> yes, I entered a red hallway also. Uh, you didn't see, though, there was a mannequin guy that ran off down here. I did not want to see him. I hate him. I think this might be the way we have to go, brother. Well, yes, everything else seems to be sealed off, so why not? <laughs> so let's be fair, this is nice design of all these traps from like 200 years ago. Because this is what, like what, we're in the 20th century? We, the explorers, I suppose? Yeah, we got walkie talk. I, I would I would say, uh, yeah, 20th century. Like maybe um, old walkie-talkies. Uh, we don't we, we don't seem to have any kind of cell phones or anything like that. Radio tower still existed. I would have to say sixties, seventies, maybe. And then this is what, like two hundred years old, something like that, two three hundred. So that's like sixteenth century something. That's actually quite nice that they have been able to build something like this with these traps. Two directions. You sure you want to split up? 
I think it's not giving us a Well, I mean, you could come with me this way. You could come with me this way if you wanted. Uh, yeah, but I first am looking at this skull with eyes, which seems to follow me. Oh, we have to go there. <laughs> my way, my way's open. <laughs> Ah, hey man, you've come across my secret lair. I've been resting here for a millennia. <laughs> also, hiya. Hi, guys. The cell phones would not work in voices. You dare run away from me? Yes. How dare you? How dare you? Ah, you fool! I'm still up here, and you're down there! I know, I wanted to be first to go down. <laughs> oh, brother, brother, brother. Come here, come here. Ooga chugga, ooga chugga, ooga chugga, ooga chugga, ooga chugga, ooga chugga, ooga chugga. Ooga chugga. Oh. Yeah, we take the other way first, because this is hole we can't get back up. Whee! There was really no other way to go. And you know that. No, I didn't. Also, Geronimo, okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. Give her brother. These stones, you can get stuck in them. Sounds like a you problem, mate. Fine, I won't warn you of things in the future. Careful, brother, there's something that might light you on fire there. Oh, wait, no, that's a you problem, actually. I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> do you call me sus, Tom? Just to know how to do the ethics. They really do. Go give them props. I know, to have... Why do I have a feeling we're either going to fight a giant bird or some kind of plague doctor? I do not want to fight an SCP. Could be cool. Also, to have that, to have the gas like come out of this just perfectly enough that like it ignites the braziers but doesn't light us on fire, you know? Just to have the gas in the room. I, I, these things don't look like they're like being fed by any kind of source, so it just had to be that there was some amount of gas put in them perfectly enough that they wasn't they wouldn't fill up the entirety of the room, but would light them and not us. Well, at the same time, I think the uh, Jester could be classified as an SCP, so... I do not think he would need gas for that. I think that's just his power. Would he be key to Maybe. Not sure. Would he be what, sorry? Would he be key to uh, Kether class? Well, that's uh, how an SCP do. Also, uh, Thomas is saying... Let Sam go first, just for precaution. Alright, oh, also, I don't think it would be Keter. Keters are quite uh, world-ending anomalies. I think this would be... Like, uh, there is, there are there are SCPs like the Hanged King, that one that was actually in that uh, SCP Secret Files I played recently. It's not Keter class. It's more... Uh, I guess they, they have different determinations how they order. Like, some of them are difficult to contain, but other ones are whether or not they are incredibly, like like deadly to human life it's like i don't know if this would be deadly to human life but it's deadly to anyone that encounters it so well, wasn't world well, ending class something else wasn't keto class just like peanut like fucking deadly difficult to contain but not like oh a single snap of its fingers can end multiple universes i don't think peanut's keto class i think he's um He's considered. He's considered because you can be contained quite easily. What, what are the other ones? Uh, lower tier tier ones. I forget their names. Uh, I'm gonna look it up now because <laughs> now we have to know. I'm pretty. I'm pretty for definite that uh, Peanut isn't Kier class. So. Anomaly class. Ah, Peanut is Euclid. Uh, the class I was thinking about is uh, Tamil. The CPU is... No, wait, that's the CPU. Uh, yeah. Used to contain all the SCPs. 
Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Keter class is like uh, the ones that would be like, you know, the hanged, uh, no, the, um, the uh, broken god or that one that's like, you know, he's, he's attached by a series of chains and the last one is about to break and when he breaks out it's going to be the end of the world and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what Keter classes are in SCP. I don't think Peanut is... Keter class is the highest risk level and includes objects that are considered extremely dangerous and could potentially harm or even kill you could, people yeah. if not properly contained. So yeah, that's uh, like the ones I was describing. Yeah, so the the ones that can't really be contained are world-ending anomalies. Are they're, they're like incredibly deadly. Um, I don't I don't think 682 is counted as, as that either because he can be contained. He just won't be contained forever. He's 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 impossible to kill kind of thing. Is only being contained by the fact that they have him submerged in acid. But if he really wants to, if he really really tries, he can break still break out. Peanut can be contained, and is, there's only one of them. In those um, stories in which you remember Peanut um, multiplied, that's when he starts to become more of a Keter class anomaly that will destroy the world. You mean when it's creator and says like, hey, go have some fun, go get loose, kill them fucking all, and he even was able to kill off um, 683, the lizard, I think that's 683, right? Or 638, one of them. That was the one I just said, the one that I was describing that was like, um, 682, the, the lizard that, that can survive anything, can still break out of the acid bath that he's still, that he's contained in, it's just very difficult for him. But yeah, 682, you're thinking of. But yeah, and also it depends on who's writing Peanut, like, some people have written it that Peanut has different abilities, that he was created by someone, that he was not created by someone, that he, he can multiply, that he can multiply, that he come, came from a, another universe, that this is the universe that he's... So depending on who's writing him, he has different things. There's one story that I really like, where Peanut's creator is like a spirit, and he lingers around at one point. He goes and checks out what he's doing right now, he's like, oh, my creation is not... He's being used in such a wrong means, and it's like... And, uh, it's like... He, he gives he gives Peanut permission to snap the neck of someone that's not looking at him, even if others are looking at him. He's like, just this one time, you get to break the rule. And he's like, but it can only be someone that you really want. And then it was like, it just, he went and snapped this, the neck of the scientist that was in the room as like 5D boys were looking at him. And they were all completely terrified that he still managed to move. And, um, and then it's like, and Peanut, he, although he didn't have the ability to smile, that day, his creator knew that he was. Yeah, I like that story. <laughs> also, let's talk about uh, SCPs. Also, um, I like this. There's also a story that I think that might be a good idea, but at the same time, that could be possibly the worst idea ever. Nope. Lock um, 682 inside uh, 3008. But they're afraid that um, he's able to control the um, 3008Bs, the employees. Yeah. And it's by that means able to break out and um, free all of its own. So they won't do that. Yeah, there's a YouTube channel that goes into all these kind of uh, all these kind of things and uh, like possibilities of what might happen. Like there's um like one of my favorites is like why don't they just put Peanut in uh, 914 on uh, like rough and see what happens? It's like well you don't doubt for definite know what will happen if we do that. It could turn him into a pile of dust. But then what if that dust is still animate? And what if when it, when you stop looking at the dust, it starts moving towards you? And then what if he try Peanut now has gained the ability to choke you out from the inside of your body? But wait, if it's dust, would that mean just the entire dust palace peanut? Or would that mean each particular dust particle is its own peanut? Because if that's actually the case, it kills the entire planet within... <laughs> Two days? I don't remember if it was dust or if it was like it just turns them into a pile of rocks. But I, I, regardless, it's a different different thing, same result, you know. Like, but I'm not I'm not willing to answer your question because that's like that's like getting into the realm of uh, like, are we are we actually our bodies or are we just our brains? Sort of question. <laughs> How does a dyslexic uh, poet write <laughs> in verse? <laughs>
I think I've had these kind of discussions with my brother. I, I was a big fan of um, the Terminator, like Terminator franchise when I was, like, to be honest, I'm still a huge fan of it. But, like, um, me and my brother had these kind of t discussions. Like, remember the T-1000 from Terminator 2, the liquid Terminator? It's like, the question is like, well, is he actually, he, like, the whole concept of him was that he was, like, an intelligence put inside this liquid thing. It's not held together by any kind of computer that's controlling it. It just has a consciousness inside it, a robotic consciousness. That's why it doesn't seem to be mechanical. And it's like, well, what? whenever he breaks off a piece of himself, that piece can still interact with the other one. It can still move, and he uses it to, like, um, track down people in some of the other movies that the G1000 shows, obviously. Well, does that mean that that little piece is its own Terminator, or is it still part of the whole collective? Would it in a case like being it truly matters? It would just be able to kill more people at the same time. <laughs> I think Thomas wants us to continue the game now. I'm not so sure about that. He started to make dead jokes in my chat. Like, um, I started a new business making yachts. Lift with me, brother. I'm going through the roof. I mean, Thomas, we could have talked about SCPs if we want. I'd just like to point out, though, that, Thomas, we are allowed to talk about SCPs if we want on our stream. We're allowed to admit, use our time as we wish. Ooh, do you hear that bitter <laughs> patter? Should do an SCP <laughs> talk, dude. Like I would agree. Finally come like the to uh, King and just combined. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, you're gone. Absolutely. Yeah, same <laughs> Also, Thomas says that we should have an S a, a stream where we just talk about SCP stuff. Oh, I apologize for yes, you in the this other one was the king. state. Yeah. I would have well, I mean, the last one was the jester that we had, but then remember he got, um, he was disobeying the, ki the king or something like that, and then the king at the end, uh, like, encountered him, and then they ended up working together. <laughs> No, 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 wasn't it the Jester uh, wanted to use my soul to resurrect the king, but we prevented him together with the daughter of the Do king. You hear? But he still ended up reviving. His soul. Yeah, the king was still revived in the end. The king. All you see, my king is. And my king sees all he is. <laughs> and yet, he We're sees in trouble, you aren't we? not. I think so. Isn't that delightful? <laughs> <laughs> Your greatest gift is being utterly unremarkable. <laughs> you mad, Tan Tan? So, unlike myself, so practical. <laughs> now, in you go. <laughs> uh, I don't like this. I need to do like this. Oh god, it's a tell. Oh god, I had to burp. It's a teleport puzzle. I see you. <gasps> Where? Where are you? Near five. Hi, five, five, five. Oh, hi! Can you do that again? Um, turn it back. <laughs> so you want me to undo it and do it again? Uh, can you now do it while I'm on it, seeing if that does anything? Nope, it doesn't let me do it when you're on it. Yes, take two, you go down one level, so you can know that. Hello! I'm over here now. Um, I have to... I'm not sure why I'm going now at six. Uh, you should follow your path up. You eventually get towards three. Ah, it's a clover. 
like a, a well not a lucky gore but an irish gore um at three should i go through three uh yeah you get on top of it so i think top of the glove you will be. Uh, i'm going through six now so uh please be patient for a bit <laughs> i dare you bomb me <laughs> Oh, my stream's FPS seems to be taking a little bit of a dip. Continuously. Hopefully, hopefully it uh, sorts itself out. Touch wood. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it seems to be happening a little bit of trouble. Are you able to interact with anything? Uh, not here. Hmm. Oh my god, this music reminds me so much of uh, Henry Stickman. No, you say it. Uh, because I can travel towards um, from the clover, I switch to 8, but then I get blocked by a clover. Now, uh, there's nothing I can interact with here. Uh, I'll go back here. Uh, I'll go back for the portal to bring me underneath free. Yeah, there's still nothing to interact with here. Yeah, and when I go back down and back on the path, it's now blocked off. And there's nothing I can interact with. Not around here. Can you alter something of this clover again? Are you able to lift me up? I can give it a try. Uh, so, uh, Thomas is playing with 8-Ball, um, and apparently, um, am I good at games? Better not tell him now, and the Sam have a big brain. Outlook not so good. Nah, I've, I've, I've never said I'm good at puzzles. I'm not good at puzzles. I fumble about and then eventually find something, but I wouldn't consider myself good at it. Whether or not that makes me big brain or not, it's a different question. Everyone's good at certain things. Everyone's mediocre at some things, you know? Alright, I'm by one here that I can move. It's a uh, sort of a RNG one. Oh, it allows me to. It allows me to get the 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 free clover one. Oh. Did I do something for you? Yeah. Hey, I see. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm going through eight at the moment. Uh, you need to change the orange one and the clover one if possible. Uh. The, causing the changing the orange one co causes off the clover one for me. Uh, can you then first change the clover and then the orange one? All right, worth shot. Okay, okay, that that changes that one. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Cool, all good. Are we tiny? Because there's like giant nails, like giant screws and nails. Well, yeah, we have them put inside the toy box. Um, also, um, does 8 ball work? The Magic 8 ball says Outlook not so good, so do with that what you want. Hmm. We're playing It Takes Two! Also, uh, is what 8 ball says true? As I see it, yes, of course 8 ball would think what he says. <laughs> 8 ball is weird. <laughs> yes, Magic 8 ball is weird. Alright, so, um,. I don't know what else I can do from here. Um, I can get further with orange. I'm currently at seven here. You can see me jump. There. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah, yeah, I saw you. Don't worry, I saw you over there. Um, maybe I can change that for you here. There you go. And then where does that do for you? Because I might... It allows me to go back up to the clover, but I don't know if you'll need that or not. Mm. Yeah. Clover, a wall. I don't see it doing anything to that quickly. I need the blue heart, so... That's a, that's a spade. Fair enough, blue spade. <laughs> Uh, I can't get a, a spade at the moment. All I can get right now is the clover and uh, the orange diamond. Hmm. Where does seven take you? 
when you were going up there? Ah, uh, that's where I came out from, so... If I go back through 7, I'm at the end near your 4, here. I... oh, I, I couldn't see you, sorry. Uh, uh, well, just trying to see if there's any others you could interact with at that point. I, so, um, the only ones I can interact with are the Clover right now and the Diamond. I don't know if that's any significance to you. Later on, you can go down there. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll let you down there. I'll let you down there. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, I see. Um, hmm, then I don't know. Now that brings you back up there. Maybe, maybe, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, you can't, you can't. Shit. Want me to try going backwards a bit? See which one we can change to maybe get something else? Perhaps, yeah, because I don't think I can do much out, much good uh, on these ones. Uh, I need the diamond to be switched for this. Mm, that brings me towards a clover and a heart uh, together with the diamond leading in a staircase. I would be able to control the clover one that you were... Uh, on there, but uh, I would have to change the diamond one. Sure, go for it. I actually don't know if that does you any good. Uh, yeah, you're you're on it right now. Now you're blocked off. Yeah, you can't actually. There, there. It, it holds no purpose. Uh, if I change it, it will just block you off from it. Never mind. Never mind. And if I go further down, I'm back at eight. For which I ask you to move the clover. Wait, 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 move the clover? Hmm? I'll see, I'll see. I have to change the diamond one in order to get it. Because I can now move here up towards six. Ah, nice. And yeah, six brings you over there. And you've got the blue one now, hey! So can you, well, the, the blue, uh, so if you go all the way back now, you can now access it. Like, I know the blue one. Um, yeah, now you need to go back because this—that's the the clover that you had before. Now we just go all the way back to seven. Okay, and I will change the clover one for you again, and you go all the way back up there. You need to get the diamond one. Diamond button. It, it, yes, I know. I was saying it as you you got your you got the radio up before I did. There you go. Now, the question is, am I able to come over to that side or not? Um, I'm currently looking what you could do. Uh, that brings you to three, that brings you there, then you put another clover to go there. Hmm. Um, Don't worry about it, Thomas. Oh, it rolls. Shush, shush. I think I need to go towards a clover now. And from there, bring you towards the um, spade. Yeah, I need the. Yeah, I need to go through six to get to the. Um, is there eight anywhere around here? Um, I'll go. I'll go back. I'll go. I'll go see which ones I can get to from over here. Uh, Sam, not to be annoying, but you have one to four, and I have five to eight. Okay, I mean it's fair enough. I just didn't know if it um, swapped us about to. Uh, I get it. I didn't. I didn't know if the orientation was that we could never interact with uh, each other, but we we would switch between sides at certain points. Body body pad. Like I didn't. It's difficult to gauge that in a game. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Then. Hmm. I think we now need to get me back towards a clover. Because from three, you would then need to go down there. Yeah. Yeah, I have a clover up there. I don't know if there's any way of swapping stuff to get me up there, or how I would. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back a couple. Like, I'm, I'm gonna assume that 
We need to go back to get forward. Maybe I need to interact with one a bit further back. Uh, for that, I now need to go back and get you a clover. So um, let me see what I can get. Yeah, because maybe you going. Wait, wait. Um, yeah, we'll get. I'll, I'll, I'll need to get the thing pulled for you, for, so you can get to the cover. But then, when that's pulled out, I will undo mine and get to that, so I can go up there and see. By the by, by. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you are okay. saying. Okay. Uh, where are you currently? I don't see you. There you are. Yeah. Okay. I need to. Move the clover. Send me to, I'm now at a clover. Now you go back. No, no, I'm at the clover. I mean, I'm at the clover level. I can do this. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, I did it wrong. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what, what? Standing good, trust me. Wait, sorry, what am I missing? I thought I was controlling the clover and the thing for you to get down somewhere. Yes, I'm now back at the clover, which you need to get back towards the spade. Oh, I thought you had to get back to the spade in order to get me up there. Okay, I was thinking of it wrong. I thought I had to get, or get you back to the spade so I could get up somewhere. Never mind. Tell me when you need the clover switched. I am here now. Ah, I'm at a clover. I'm at a clover thing now. Okay. So are you able? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, where does four take me? Nowhere. Well, I mean, I can I can move this, and then it'll take me somewhere. I, I I can control the clover one at the end now for you, but now we need to figure out how I can get you back to that clover through the the diamond and the um uh, the. No, no, no. Sorry, I keep saying clover. I can control a spade one now, and now I need to figure out how to get so I can get here and have it that you uh, have the clover and the diamond in the right orientation. Body, body, body. But I'm gonna push this. And see where this leads me. Aha! It leads me up, up to the clover and the diamond part. Switch the clover if possible. Uh, I shall do it. There you go. Now I would need the duck. Oh, no, no diamond spade. The spade, yeah. I'm going back. The spade of aces. Uh, ace of spade. And again. A. Hey. I, you, there's stairs there that you can go up. Yes, and if you go through four and then all the way to the top, you should be able to meet me here. Ah, I see it was complete. Right, okay, so I needed to get here. Okay, I did, I, that, was, that was already like that when I was here. I didn't realize this led me here. Yeah. This takes too. <laughs> Is that a reference? <laughs> we we're like almost done with the game. But yes, this took dive and stand ten hours. I don't believe that. Yeah, not even. Yeah, not not even a little. Yeah. Also, I that is definitely a reference to It Takes Two. Um, I'm in a room with one, two, four portals and a um, stick horse 
you know, like horse head on a stick in the middle floating Ooh. as some sort Ow. of astral projection. <laughs> I am in a similar... Oh, I see you. You Can you see me? Up. Look up. I can see you. Ah, oh, sorry. I think I, I was holding it down too long. I have a bunch of pores. You, I, I think, I think you would have more than four. Like that's uh, that's five. Uh, I see there. Yeah, but one is where. Oh yeah, yeah. One of them's a door. Uh, I have, I have five. Um, uh, none of mine are a closed door. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll turn mine. See what it does. Um, what you're currently doing is trying to line up two doors. I'm a door with a what? What's it called? What's it called? Um, you know the instrument that you push up and down. Doesn't really matter. I'll push it two more times. I get it. And how many times do I need to push, or is mine correct? Which path do I need to go? Uh, I don't. I don't see a second one for it. You're one that has a much larger gap. I don't. I don't know if. Uh, yeah, like you're like you. Where, where I see you right now, I, it's not lined up with anything. Uh, um, you have what looks like a a, a shoe, a, a weird elf shoe, and a thing of cards on on the top of yours, and that doesn't align with any of those. Hmm. Anyway, um, you got to yours next. Um, on your left, yes, straight forward, straight forward. That one, that's the one you need to take. Now you're in a new room. Has anything changed for me? Nothing has changed for you, but there's a big ass key here. Do you want me to turn it? Sure, turn it. Yeah, that's new. Yeah, that's new. <laughs> uh, try pushing yours. I don't, I don't know which way yours turns. Just try turning it. I'll let you know. That's lined up. That's the um, the elf shoe is lined up with the elf shoe on the thing, but it's a door on mine. Uh, maybe I need to go through into this one with all the um, uh, D and D dice in it, and I think I need to turn it and line it up because. The one that's just appeared, the elf shoes lined up, but it's a closed door. It's not an open portal. So I think I need to line it, I need to turn it so that it, you can line it up with the thing of cards. Probably get it together? Oh, you just missed everything I was saying. <laughs> I was saying I, I need to get into that one uh, and line it up with the thing of cards on yours. I need to turn it, like, because uh, the elf shoe is lined up, but it's a closed door. Uh, but anyway, um, I'll need to, I'll need to... I, oh shit. I need to go back, I think. Uh, no, I don't, I don't. Uh, the one back there doesn't have a, another option for turning. I need to get in there. Is is the one that I'm that we're both looking at, can I get into it? Uh, if you're talking about the purple one, yes, you're good, but I think if... Wait, um, let me first turn the ski here. Ah, uh, this seems more right, because, uh... Shit, shit, no. What one's... Yeah, because I think I need to... Shit, this makes it more complicated. I don't know if you can pass... Just pass through into these into these things without having to have the, uh, an image line up with another image. Or if it can just be blank ones are lined up. Uh, Sam, look at me. Is this one lined up? From the green one towards the blue one with the uh, deck of cards in it. Is there anything lined up? Oh, you're there now. <laughs> um, uh, what it look? It looks like sort of a harp kind of shape. Uh, you need to line it up. Oh, but the, it's the same again for you. It's a closed door. The one that you you can line it up to. I think I need to get into this one and turn it. Uh, which one of this has the? No. Oh. I got. Oh oh shit into this shoe one by going there. Uh, it seems 
this is my speculation. If you line two of the same symbols up, if you go through any of those doors, you end up in the room with that symbol in it. Because I lined up two doors with elf shoes, and I'm in the shoe with the uh, room with the elf shoes. So, um... yeah, I think I might have. I went through just a portal that looked like it lined up with it. I'm now in the one with the accordion. Uh, I don't know where I go from here to get to a certain. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, we just got to take our time. Um, I would say push it once, the room you're in, so I can see which way it turns. Uh, behind you, behind you. Go through that door, I would say. Nope, that just brought me back through to the accordion again. Uh, push it then, well that, because it was the... Uh, door with the loot towards the room but it didn't line up. Um, give it one more push in that case. Let's try the door you went through before and again. I mean the one that of course changed places now so it's to watch your right. I don't know which one, you're just gonna have to tell me when I'm at it. Mm, no, not that one. Yes, that one. Nope, still at the accordion. Um, can I line anything up to get to another room, maybe? Uh, see, the thing is, you're one that you, you could line it up with one, but then uh, give it give it a try. The problem is that the, you need to you be lining up D and D dice with another set of D and D dice, but the one that it's lining up with is a closed door. But try lining it up anyway; it might open it for all we know. Um, try pushing it. Once more. We need to line up s symbols with each other, then it passes over. Then I would get towards the one with the D&D dice. Once more. <laughs> <laughs> That's them lined up, that's what I was saying, but the problem is it's a closed door. So I think I might need to turn it. There's there's multiple symbols, is the thing. I think... those are The, the problem is those are the only two that match on that, but then you can see that there's like a, a, a slight jester hat. And then there's another one, I can't really make it what it is. That's not on the one that you're currently in. I'm right behind you. Yeah, the problem is you you move. I yeah, there you are. Okay. What one did you go for? Did you just go for the D and D door? Sam, like I said before, I think we were talking over each other. Uh, if you line up two symbols and then go through that oh. door, you end up in the room which the symbols align to. So in this case, D&D &D dice, aligned with D&D &D dice, brought me to the room with D&D &D dice. Ah, okay, okay. I've been thinking of it, that we need to line up in order to cross between the different just rooms. Like, I would suddenly be... Like, if this one were lined up where we are, I would just go to where you... Okay, never mind. Never mind, okay, it's easier than it looks, okay. Uh, for me, it's a closed door with a loot, but if you go through it, you should be able to get into the loot room. Uh, no, no, the door leading right to me. Go through that one. This one? Yes. Okay, I see you. Oh, uh, I appear to still be... Okay, um, what do you see? What one do you need to line up? Uh, push it two times away from me. Okay, okay, I was thinking of it wrong. I thought it was the case we needed to line them up in order. Like, if this okay. one was lined up with that one... Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I was saying stuff to Thomas. I thought it needed to be that if one lined up with that, it would then cross into that one. No, no you can't enter the chest room from that room, it seems. Mm, too bad. Um, do I have anything I can line up? I can't see from here. Uh, you'd have to tell me which one which one is uh, here right now on this one. Like, um, are there any symbols that you could turn to be a symbol facing this way for you? What symbols are on this as well? Uh, on your room, you have the jester hat, a like, uh, what, which um, French horn, a blue one. You know the instrument, the uh, trumpet, but then with a loop inside of it, and a set of playing cards. 
Ah, uh, you, ha you have a set of playing cards in yours. Tell me when uh, the set of playing cards is facing where you are right now in mine. Like, uh, we're facing each other right now. Tell me when it's uh, by you. It's now facing Playing cards. So the playing cards are right here. Yes. All right, you just got to turn yours now. You've got a set of playing cards. So I'll tell you when they're lined up. Uh, clockwise or counterclockwise? Ah, uh, no, just push it that way. There's, it's, there's far now. It would be six and two frees in that. In that regard. Keep going. Yes, yeah, so one more align the symbols. What do you think we're doing? <laughs> uh, and one more. There you go. As far as it seems, if uh, my put deck cards here, you can go into the play uh, playing cards one. It's a block draw for you, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, yes, it is. I, did. I thought it would be an open gate for you. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, I was oh, oh! Ah. Ah, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. I thought, I thought you meant it was a block door for you as well. Okay, um. Any that can get us into that? Um, the, you, have a, you have a jester room one. Is there a jester hat one on mine, by chance? Yes, there is. Um, one time counterclockwise. Uh, counterclockwise. Off I go. Ta da! No. Oh. I recognize your sword. <laughs> That's what you used to step yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Thomas. Don't complain. You're too stupid. Yeah, stop you complaining, Thomas. <laughs> we do things our way. Also, if you don't... Alright, so, uh... Are we not done yet, or...? Doesn't seem so. Uh, can I... Change anything to line things up with any of the rooms next to me. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, you can line one up to be in the playing cards, or you've got the harp room, or um, well, you've also got um, one of them's lined up right now, but you can't go into it because that's your closed door one, and uh, that seems to be it. You can't go into the deck of cards one from yours. What one do you want to go into? Do you want to go into the um? Uh, playing cards room or the harp room, I guess you can call it. Um, is one of them a blue, like... Oh, oh, wait. Or like I said earlier. Oh, my, my apologies. Uh, I've just noticed that the uh, one that I'm calling the harp is a closed door for you. So I guess the only option for you is the deck of cards. Uh, just turn it. It's, um, you're facing it right now. Uh, yeah. But didn't I just come from a... I'm facing it right here. This one. No, no, I'm trying to... Like, that... This one over here. This one that I'm facing. Uh, th there's a thing that lines up for... Oh, I know, it's a closed off thing. Fuck. Then, uh... Fuck, I really don't know which ones are lined up. Uh, th then, all the ones that you can get to either uh, are closed door on the other one that it would be lined up to, and you've got like the, I don't know, French horn, harp, whatever shape it is, it's like a horseshoe kind of shape. Yeah, you're, that's a closed door for you. Right now, you have a blue horn. Yeah, it's called. Those two are lined up currently. Other than that, I don't think you can really go for any of them. Blue horn, you have a blue horn towards facing me, so that's what I need to get. That's this one, that would mean two times clockwise, or can't block. Ah, okay, so I gotta go there. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, and uh, yeah, we'll just line them up. Do I need to turn mine any amount of time? Uh, no, I don't think so. 
Alright. I'm in the blue horn. You said I also had a harp? Uh, yes, it's to your left, that one. The closed door. The one I'm standing in front of. Yep, that one. Do I have a harp? Then now you can go through it. I guess that's the, my answer. Yep, I do have a harp one. Alright. Hello up there! Hello. Um. Mm. The two symbols you have are the uh, loot, the red one, um, to the left of me. Do you see? And a magic door, but. Or portal, the one to your right or left. I see the magic portal one here. Like, uh, it's not activated, but, uh, uh, I, I've got, yeah, I've got, like, a mandolin one, uh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, I see a mandolin one on that one, like, and there's a key on that one as well. I think we have to get to the portal one, so let's try and get there. Hmm. Um, can I go anywhere from here? Any suggestions which rooms I should go to? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the harp one, I, I can see on the portal that the harp room has a closed door in it, so it's not able to come through it from there. So the one that's like a mandolin type uh, instrument, you'd have to go through that one, I guess. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, would it have to be you go from the mandolin room? It's confusing when it's like they're... There aren't really many options for going through portal ones. Like, the image of the portal one. I've not really got many recommendations for you. That's my guess, because from there I can move a portal so it lines up with your portal and we should be able to reach there, I guess? Go for it. Um... Can I, from which ones can I go to from here? Because. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, you've got two closed doors. Uh, you can go through the cards one. Uh, yeah, you can go. You've got a cards one and uh, a blue trumpet one. Yeah, those are your two options. Um, what one do you want to go through? Do you want to go to the cards room or the blue trumpet room? Uh, I'll go towards the card room. All right, just uh, push it once from where you are, I guess. There you go. Oh, and uh, the jester hat one is uh, aligned right now. Maybe you want to go to it, or... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, the jester hat one. You, um, yeah, to, to your right there. That that portal to your right. No, no, uh, next one. Next one to your right. That one's open. That one's already aligned. Sam, you realize at which room I just came, right? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to which one you just came from. Okay, then, um, you've not got any other... The one you're in, the portals are blank, and then the one that you have that's a D&D &D dice is closed. So your only option is a portal door one. Like, um, the one that you just came in now is, uh... Look behind you. That one. That, that one is a picture of a portal door. Alright, you need to give me two clockwise turns to get portal lined up with my portal. Uh, is my portal lined up right in towards you? Uh, I have a portal as well. Uh, yeah, yours is lined up and mine's lined up. I think we can both go through. Hey, hello, brother. We did it. Rock, paper, scissors, all right? I got, I got rock. I got paper, I win. 
Uh, I think you need to turn the other key. If we both interact, the portal will open and we can get out. Whee! <laughs> I jumped in. Hello, look up. It's the same thing again. Somewhat. Now it's just freakier. Uh, with, with strange play masks and... Oh, a holy hand grenade! <laughs> you shall throw it on three, not two. Do not count on two unless you're counting to three afterwards. <laughs> Beware the deadly rabbit. I told you, didn't I tell you? But no, no, no one listened to me. Actually, actually, now that I think about it, he was actually a Scottish guy. Ah, uh, no, but no, 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 no one listens to me, though. No, 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 don't listen to the guy that warns you. No. Um, I think we need to do the same thing here, and then another question. How much longer are we going to go for? I don't know. I mean, I mean, we could leave it off here. This is a new section. I mean, we can leave it off wherever we want to. If we can start over here, that would be nice, because we have been going for three hours. Yeah. And you probably have school, so... Huh? Who probably has school? You, I suppose. No, I'm off for the summer. Summer. <laughs> yeah, 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 summer, sorry. Uh, holidays. <laughs> I meant to say. Yes, I just have to get up at 6 tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. If you want to go for longer, we can probably go for an another hour at most. Nah, I think we should leave it here. Come back with a fresh perspective if we get, feel a bit, um, you know, like, ready for it. Also, apparently when you press escape, you can open a tab that is called hints. Not that we're gonna need it. But... Yeah, I prefer to just fumble my way to victory. That's how I prefer to do things. Hey, uh, so, so shall we uh, leave it till next week? I think we'll get at least, like, uh, maybe three playthroughs out of this. Also, shall we uh, first enter... Uh, I'm gonna exit the game, and then shall we enter this good car? It's a bit easier talking. Then I say something, you say something, I say something again towards that. So... <laughs> Let's do that then, shall we? Uh, Alright. Hello. Oh, am I deafened? Uh, I am deafened. Hello there. Oh, uh, they were asking if we could pacify. I have pacify, yeah. I have pacify. Not for done for pacify. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. That was. The first session of we were here forever. A bit of a well, longer one than the other first. ones. Well, three was awesome. The first time we played three, we also went for like three hours. Yeah, but like, wasn't it practically done after like one session? No, no, no. We were at like chapter seven. Where we were. I at think the grand. we did it twice. We played it twice. Yeah, we were. We were like ex chapter seven, chapter something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Out of ten chapters, that's quite well. Um, on the other hand, um. This, I'm not sure, I assume we also have 10 chapters in this, I'm not sure how far we are, and I don't want to look it up for nee. one hand, because it's, I want to keep it fresh, I want to keep it exciting. Well, um, we something. who do you uh, want to raid? Do, that's a good question. Uh, also, do I think that we are close to completing it? I wouldn't be sure. No. Like, I, I saw the full VOD of Kaif playing it with Stan, it was like nine hour, nine and a half hours. <laughs> Yeah, but let's be fair, Dive and Stan probably spent a few hours on the, um, at Kettle with the, um, this is how you started. They spent a fucking long time on that. Probably, but regardless, it's going to be a bit longer. Anyway, who shall we raid? Uh, most of us are playing World of Warcraft. Rob is playing Play Up. 
I think Butler's, Butler's playing play playing up too. Played. Um, I don't know if they're playing together yeah, or not. Kelly is playing Marauders, I see. And uh, someone else is on is Dumb Zoe. They are playing uh, Trying Not to Die. Oh, wait, um, is that what they're playing or is... Uh... Ah, no, that's just their title. S uh, Spelunky 2. Hmm. I don't really... I have I'll, no... I'll, leave, I'll leave it up to you. Who do you fancy raiding? Also, um, this is just going to be me complaining through the whole game, I guess. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably going to be right, Thomas. So yeah. stop that. I know, Thomas, <laughs> that from from having watched YouTubers play playthroughs of, of games and then having played them myself, it's a very different dynamic being the person watching someone playing stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've heard also in certain games, what, like in certain moments are like this, it's like, oh, we have to do this, that's obvious. Yeah. But it and took a while. But in some videos, it's like, oh, you see that immunity. It's yeah. Perspective. I've watched back my own game and been like, how did I miss that? How did I not see that? How did I just happen to miss this one obvious thing? And it's like, and just watching back, watching someone else do something, you have more time to analyze things. That plus, it's like, um, you pay different attention to details. Yeah. Because in a game like this, it's like, okay, we enter a room, what do we pick up? What is here? What is there? Where can we go? Where can we not go? What can we do? And as a viewer, you probably only look like, all right, this is the puzzle I see. Yeah, you are what watching it live, Thomas, but you're still, you're not having, as I just said, you're not having to, like, think about what's around, what is here, what can do, what can go with what. You're just, you're just looking at everything. Um, <laughs> while we are looking at everything like a big picture, um, most people who watch focus on smaller things, so it's easier to spot things that are connected in some cases. And you got more time to analyze, wait a minute, what if that thing went with that thing? But usually in a game, especially in a game like this where it's stuff that's timed, you don't have enough, a lot of time to look at stuff. And like, like I said, it's, I've literally played the same games that I watched people play years back and loved their playthrough of it. And I've been like, damn, it's really different playing this than it was watching these guys play it. <laughs> It's like, for example, like, um, the puzzle with the gears, it's like, oh, we see that big thing and we see, oh, we need to spin it. That's right. But it's not like, oh, we can't spin it, it doesn't work. All right, we go do something else then, in this case. <laughs> well, What's wrong with Tan Tan? Like, where can we see that gear? So what's wrong with Tan Tan? <laughs> oh, he caught, he caught a star. <laughs> I uh well I'll, I'm still reading the raid up to you. Uh, 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 I'm fine with any. Let's raid uh, Butler. Really oh no! Like apparently he just went offline. Or um, or the in no? The wait wait um maybe uh, maybe it wasn't offline. Maybe uh Cali just got more viewers and that made him higher up on the thing. Uh, he's still online. Yeah. Well, so let's raid Butler playing. Oh, sure. Plate up. Plate up. Oh yeah, I also have that game now. We should play that sometimes. It's going to be fun. I don't think I have it. I think it was one of the games that was included in like the um, jungle gem of um, the Oxcast, so... I have... I don't really... I don't know that. And also, uh, I tried searching that up the other day. And uh, yep. from how you said it, and I think it's just your accent, I couldn't actually determine what it was called. Jung jungle Jam. <laughs> That's all I'm hearing. Jingle, it's like, jingle Jam. Jingle Jam. Okay. <laughs> um, not a, not a game which I'm gonna be playing that next week is um, Turner Boy commits tax evasion. Nice. Because why not? Let's commit yeah. crimes. On a federal level. Hey guys, I'm uh, I'm just gonna go deafen myself. I'm gonna end up go get some food, pop on some music and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna Red Butler. Go take a shower and yeah. Then it's probably already almost time for bed again. So probably. Anyway, it was fun. Yeah, uh, it's been good. Next week, same time. Yeah. Let's hope the, let's hope the puzzles yeah. don't get as ridiculous. Well, if even if they get more difficult, um, next week Thursday is my last day. I'm going to be working of this year. So even if it's going to be long, it's fine because. <laughs> I don't have to go wake up early next morning. Yeah. And I just out of it. <laughs> Bye. I'll see, you later. see you later, Tan Tan. See you later, Thomas. Thank you for coming along. We raid now. Bye, everyone. And I'll end the stream up with some nice music. I'll see you later, Sajor. Later. Later.
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.